Okay, so social media part two. Let me get this uh, little box smaller so I can see. Okay, so we're still talking about building followers. And as we know, Instagram is an awesome platform to build your followers. So here's gonna be a couple of more tips. We covered some of this last week. So some of it will be um, review. But number one, hashtagging. In our, in, in our industry, we need to hashtag. Your hashtag needs to be your city, your state, body contouring, butt lift, pool sculpting, um, skin tightening, fat burn, weight loss, um, even New Year's resolution. Everything that's going on right now needs to be in your hashtag so that people can find you. That is the main way. It's one thing to um, be in a setting where you're finding people, but you want to strategically put yourself where people can find you because people are looking for this stuff. Um, body contouring is still very new in most people's region. They see it on Instagram. They see it on Facebook. They want it. They want to know who's doing it in their neighborhood. And that person is you. You need to make sure that you can, they can find you. So, um, and here's a, a little tip with your hashtags, even some of your old posts, um, you can go back and add the hashtags to it that you, if you hadn't used it before. So go back, redo your page add those hashtags so people can find you. Using filters, if you use your um, Instagram, there when you come up, the most popular filters, people, they, they have, they have um, charts on it, what people respond to. This is a list of the popular filters. Use those on your page. People respond to it. This is scientific evidence. So I said last week, posting at the right time. Most people are um, on the social media between 12 and 1 p.m. So make sure you are posting at that time in your region. I also want to make sure you're posting in your story every single day. Um, and we're going to go over what you need to post in your story. Um, um, I want you to post your locations in your story. I want you to post your before and after pictures every day in your story. Like um, like Brenda, your new studio, post that in your story. Engage your audience in your story. Most people look at stories every day, even if they don't look at your profile. So you need to do that every single day. Use your geotag in your story, in your location. Once we just said earlier that everybody is looking for that body contourist in your area, you are that body contourist. So make sure that you are hashtagging and using your location. Use your location in your story as well as in your Instagram post. This is an example of that. Highlight your stories. Um, you know, do your live videos. That video will be up there for 24 hours. So, you know, highlight whatever you want to feature. So in our industry, we want to highlight the body. Whatever you want to specialize in your business, focus on that. We can't, we cannot um, get approved for ads for vaginal rejuvenation or butt lifts as much in um, on the ads. But in your story, if you do it tastefully, you can really promote that. Like uh, a stock photo of women with flowers, um, a side profile with a woman with an attractive butt, like those are things you can post in your story to let that client know that you are available to do those services, but your page still looks good, not tacky. I've seen some very tacky things on, on there. So be cautious of that. And those little circles are also highlight. You can highlight the, the things that people will ask you, like um, your price list. You can highlight your um, instructions. You can highlight your website your email, how you want to contact you. So this is an example of some things, how you can highlight them. Um, if you want more followers, simply ask for more followers. If you have anybody ever watched anybody on YouTube, they always tell you at the end, these are my handlers. Follow me, um, share this post. Tell your customers or your clients exactly what you want them to, want them to do. Most of them will follow the instruction. Things that are trending, Follow, follow those trends. Like, for example, you might have seen like the period um, was trending. And so I did butt lift posts and I posted pit the, you know, my clients with 
before and afters with now new attractive butts with the period, hashtag period. So I'll be fine, found with um, your, um, right now we're in the new year. So new year's resolution, you wanna hashtag that type of thing because we're still in the month of January. People are still um, starting their weight loss goals. So you want to be that person that they find to help them achieve their weight loss goals. Do giveaways. Um, like, uh, you know, if they're looking for, you know, body contouring, if they share your post with three people, then they can get a $50 butt lift. You, they be, um, do something where they got to work for it, but then they can get something beneficial from it after they've done the work. There's tag to win contests. Your current audience, ask them for user generated content. Your current clients, have them post videos and tag you. Have them make reviews and tag you. Have them post their before and after pictures and tag you. If you are doing their service and they're comfortable, um, I, a lot of my clients go on Snap while I'm working on them and tag me. And while right there or while we're on, they're on the Snapchat, everybody's asking for who I am, where can they come get that done? So your clients that are comfortable getting that service, use that to your advantage. And in here, this is a little example of how Fashion Nova does all of their things with contents and influencers and all that. So you can read that. Use your Instagram live, use everything live. What I've been telling you all is to start a video every day, every Monday. Start some type of theme for your business every Motivated Monday or Weight Loss Wednesday and make sure you go live at that time. Build your audience. If you do YouTube, share it to your other um, social handlers. If you use Instagram Live, but make sure you're on that platform every week at that time to build that audience and engage with them in real time. You gotta be consistent. So if, if it feels like it's not working, you can't give up in two weeks, you gotta dedicate. I'm telling you one follower will become two followers, three followers will become six. So just be consistent in whatever you're doing. Whatever's working, make sure you continue doing what is working. So you wanna mon monitor and follow your growth over, over time. So. That's what we do in this program. So we are doing our goals, we're leveraging, we're doing our accomplishments, meaning we're following what is working. If you have a business, Facebook, not Facebook, but Instagram account, you can go right into your Instagram and it will show you your alg algorithm. You will see when people are, are, are looking at your page, when people you know engage, how many people engage with certain posts. When you see that certain posts have more engagement, duplicate those posts. That's something that's working. So you wanna create more posts like the ones your clients are interacting with the most. Use Instagram tools at your disposal. There is later, which you can also, which will help you schedule an automatically public post. There's in a, yeah, Econo Square, which is an analytical tool. So you can see your followers. There's Webstagram, which helps you find the best hashtags to bring audience to your post. <laughs> you want to be strategic in using your Instagram and your posting. You can, I mean, Instagram can open up a whole lot of tools for you. You can even sell off of Instagram if you have products for sale. So you want to spend a lot of time making that page look really great. It's very important the first nine pictures of your page. At, you know, when any, at any given time, when anybody's looking at your page, those first nine pictures need to look good because that's what they're gonna look at quickly. So always make sure every week is changing, it's looking exciting, it's new content, but it's very well not organized. If you look at Jasmine's page, her page is very beautiful. Um, she has everything laid out very nice. She has a pattern and it, it looks really nice. So Jasmine, stick your handler in there so everybody can see your page. So um, we're talking about content. We want to contest ideas. We want to build more followers. So contest ideas. You can do contests where you people like or comment to win. So say you you know do a, a butt lift. Say 
we, we talked about that earlier, a butt lift. So like this picture for $25 off uh, your neck, a butt lift treatment. That might, that'll get them engaged. Offer a contest for them to share a post. If you share my post, you'll be enter, entered into a drawing for a free cavitation treatment. If you tag a friend, you you and your friend will get a buy one, get one free offer for you and your friend. In our industry, photo captions are very good because we mostly work off of before and after pictures. So you, you post a butt lift and you'll ask, well, who wants a butt lift? Comment on this picture if you want a butt lift and you will be entered into my drawing for a butt lift. Share this with three friends and you'll be entered in my drawing for a butt lift. Do things that will interact with your client. Always promote what you want to do, though. Don't promote what you don't want to do. Promote the things that are going to make you the most money that you know you're really good at and you feel real good about. Create a best comment competition. So you can be strategic about that. Maybe have a, if you have a picture of a butt lift, you can say create a tagline that goes with this picture. That'll make them be creative and interactive. And the person with the best tagline will win some type of gift from your business. Play a went to win game. So in this example, um, you can guess letters. So like if you have an upcoming service, a new service you're entered, entering, you can do like a Scrabble. You know, guess the first word, ooh, sculpting. What's the first letter? C, whoever guesses it first wins something. Any, any type of thing like that will keep your client interactive. We have vote to win. You can vote, you can put some pictures up of which, which butt lift do you like the best. Whoever comments gets some type of coupon from your company. A milestone campaign is really nice. Like, I think I'm gonna uh, do this, like in a group, we're up to a thousand people in the group. So when we get to a thousand people, we're going to do something really interesting. So I might do Glam 1000, Glam 1000. So we will um, cut, create some type of a t-shirt or some type of something to get people excited about Glam 1000. Today's an exciting unveil. Anytime you get new equipment or new product, you should always create a buzz around it. Op um, every time I get a machine, I do a live opening up that machine. So that gets all of everybody on my timeline excited. And it's usually like a free, oh, you got a new freeze machine. Well, I want to do that service. When can I get, get in? Like if you're starting vaginal rejuvenation, oh, that's what a vaginal rejuvenation machine looks like. I want to schedule that appointment. You got some new products in. Uh, open it up and tell them what these products do so they can get excited about what can um, happen. Like when we got fat dissolver, everybody was excited about getting some fat dissolver because they, of course, wanted to dissolve their fat. So get your clients excited about what's happening in your business. So next, we want to talk about models and brand ambassadors. Models. So we all need models. You need to get your models in there. You need before and after pictures. So you need to charge your models something because they're not going to take it seriously if you don't charge them. So um, figure out what, you know, a price that you and your model feel good about. They need to be committed to your program so that you can show results. And obviously they need to be comfortable showing their pictures. If they're not comfortable showing the pictures, they're not going to be good models for you. And they, those models need to allow you to go live while you're working. Because if they're not doing that, there's no benefit for you, for them to be your model. Then you need to be able to go live. You need to be able to post their pictures. You need to be able to talk while you're over that model, talk to your audience while over your model while you are doing a live. So, Models are not free. Models need to be charged something. Please get that in your head as soon as possible because a lot of people want to be a model, um, but they don't want to pay. So model calls are a great way to get people in your business. I do, like if there's ever a slow day in the business, I'll do, you know what, $50, $70, $75. I'm doing model calls today, $50 butt lifts. I have three slots. I can usually get it filled in like an hour. So that's a really good way to 
get people in your business, get them talking, get excited, fill up your books if you're slow. Um, but what we really wanna get into more than models is brand ambassadors. You want brand ambassadors. Brand ambassadors are someone who speaks positively about your company. Brand ambassadors are on social media, shout out your business, show off your, your products and purchases and recommend you to their followers. <clears throat> you wanna look at creating a brand ambassador program. So in body contouring, what a lot of us do is membership. You can do like memberships of $200. They get two or three treatments. That way, if they're gonna be your brand ambassador, they gotta be getting services. If they're not getting services, how can they really promote your business? So you wanna create some type of program for them. It needs to be a membership because they need to stick to it. They need to stick to at least six months of being your brand ambassador. So with that being said, you do $200, three services a month, or you can do whatever you want to, but that's a really good stuff. Three services for $200, they're already winning. Um, they need to post about your business every day. They need to post in your story every day. They need to post your, in your waist trainers, any kind of garments that you may have. They need to, um, they need to um, be excited about your business. They need to allow you to go live while you're doing your videos. They need to work the business like it's, it's theirs. And you need to come up with some type of a compensation for them. So a way to, for them to track the business that they are bringing into your business and give them like five or 10% of whatever they bring. If they're getting money, they're gonna be more excited about driving traffic to your business. So we're gonna go through this little document and talk more about brand ambassadors. Who are brand ambassadors? They're your customers that you already have. They're your employees, they're business partners, um, you know, like your vendors and, and influencers, anyone that you would pay to be your brand ambassador. A brand ambassador program is a company-wide initiative to seek out people who meet the criteria to promote your brand. Brand ambassadors are people that you are looking for to bring more business to you. Brand ambassador programs are very popular right now. If you look at um, Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova has every celebrity with a 10% coupon bringing them clients. And they have, I mean, everybody knows Fashion Nova. It's like a billion dollar business now, but it just started with people just talking about their clothes, wearing their clothes and Fashion Nova is huge. So we wanna kind of put that strategy into our businesses. We have these people who are looking to lose weight. So we need them to speak for us. This is the Generation D type of business. What's the difference between a social media brand ambassador or an influencer? A brand ambassador is somebody you already know. There's somebody who's, who you know already who's been to your business. An influencer is somebody you're going to be paying like a celebrity or something. A brand ambassador will be with you for a month. An influencer is somebody you're going to pay one time and they may post about your business once or twice. Um, if they have a following of over 2, 2K, 20K, then it's worth it. If they don't, then it's not. How do I find brand ambassadors? The easiest way to find a brand ambassador is finding fans. Find the people who are commenting, the people who like your post every time you post, the people who comment when you're running those contests, those people who are commenting, the ones you always see, those are your potential brand ambassadors. They have already bought into your business. Don't be afraid to ask for the brand ambassador. Um, I, did a, um, I did the promotion that we're just talking about right now where I, I looked for the brand ambassador. And what I did, I said, $200, three appointments, brand ambassadors. I had tons of people that wanted to be a brand ambassador. And if you do put together a brand ambassador, make sure you have it in writing what their um, requirements are. Because people were, I mean, when, when I did that, people were like, I wanna sign up for the $200 deals, but they gotta know that if you sign up for this, you have to put in your part. 
So it needs to be a contract that's going to let them know that if they become your brand ambassador, they have to do those postings, they have to do those videos, they have to work your business like a business so that you can make money and they can make money. They need to be responsible for the clients that they bring in, they need to check in with them, ask them how they're doing, ask for reviews, and they can give you feedback from that client that they bring in because that's somebody that they know. So brand ambassadors are a really good way to grow your business. So in our files today, I will, I will include um, some brand ambassador information and I will include um, this document and we'll include some lives. So we're gonna go into question, any questions or answer questions about any of this that we talked about? You got to um, post that so that we can have read copy. through all. Yeah, read through all of that. Yeah. Everybody's so quiet. Nobody's live. <laughs> I know Jasmine's working. Four in the morning, so I'm hanging in here. Okay. So Shonda, you said you were going to tell us about your accomplishments for the week when you got to your house. Yes. One accomplishment is I got my logo done. I did it okay. myself. Okay. And the second accomplishment is I decided on the day of February 23rd, 2020 to be open. 21. I mean, 2021. Yeah, okay. That's so, awesome. So it's in writing. So that's our, our date. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So um, does anybody at this point have any, have you, what or how have you been doing models and brand ambassadors? Anybody gotten that far? I know you haven't, Brenda. Have you started, Brenda, have you started working on people yet? Well, actually, I have a lady, um, well, my daughter and my sister and my husband. I have been working on them. Okay. But, have you been charting their progress? Um, actually, I just started because my basement just got finished. Well, no, no, I didn't just start I started this school, but I didn't strike any progress. That was just more like practice work. For okay. Me. Yeah, you always, because you're in the beginning stages, you always want to do measurements and pictures before you do everything. You need everything that you can show someone that you can show them that you can get results. That's how you're going to close the deal. You got to show them that you can get results. Right. Um, Tara, you just, um, um, you're... I'm we like, talked about, no, it, that's fine. But I was going to say, we talked about, we went through briefly talking about um, the second phase of social media. Um, we building our Instagram. We talked about building brand ambassadors and models. Um, had what experience have you had with models? Oh, I've had great experience with models. <laughs> Um, well, I was telling them that, you know, they should charge for them. When you had models, did you, did you charge? Yes, okay. yes I did. Yes. And so I told them they need to charge because they will not take it seriously if they don't charge. Right, have, right. Have well, they just don't follow through. Yeah. So. Another thing, I don't know if I've said this before, but make sure you charge the deposit because people will not take your time seriously. Like, for example, the other day I had a client who... Um, she was a first time client and I, I charge, I, I just, I don't even charge like $25 and it goes towards your service. It's just $25 period. It's not going towards anything just for this little 15 minutes of my time. Is $25. So um, she paid her $25, but then she had every excuse why she wasn't about to show up. And then she asked me, well, if, if I don't show up today, do I get my $25 back? I said, no, that's the whole point. It's guaranteeing my time for you being on my schedule. Uh -huh. However it made it, she, she ended up making it and she made it on time. So that's the difference. If I hadn't collected a deposit from her, she probably would have never called. She wouldn't show up and I probably wouldn't have never booked that client. So uh -huh. I, I want to stress starting out the importance of um, getting the deposit. I know Tara does a lot of advertising she has a really great business have you done anything like with brand ambassadors me uh-huh um, no I've just really much done the models um so but I'm in a small town okay so I know a lot of people so I think that kind of helps um just because I have a business prior to this so um 
but I know a lot of people. So, um, and it's, I mean, I think small towns are good, but they're also bad in a way. Um, because people don't want to pay what they need to pay for services. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, pretty much I just have my models. And if so, if I get a new service, I get a couple of models in and I, and I have like four girls that work for me. So I'll use those for models too. Um, just because, I mean, they are hairstylists, so they have tons of clients coming in. So they're going to recommend people to come to me also. So I want to give them treatments. Yeah, that sounds very good. Sophia, yeah. you have a pretty good following. How is your uh, model and like ambassador program work for you? I don't have any ambassadors and um, let me turn this around. Hold on. Are you working? I look like I saw a body up there. <laughs> are you working? Huh? Oh, there it goes. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have the camera put the other way. I was actually taking notes. Um, oh. so I don't have any ambassadors, and most of my models are people that come in. They they feel free with sharing the pictures. I do get one here and there, and it's like, oh, I don't want you to share my pictures. But most of them are okay with it, and I do have yeah. it in my form that oh. once they come in for their treatments, all their pictures and videos are part of. SC Beauty, which is the name of my sculpting. I really want you guys to work on creating a membership program. I I um I know uh, Tara was in my consultations class, but it's really important if you don't get get a membership program going as soon as you possibly can, because what you don't want to get into the habit of is always having to find new clients. They need to know coming into this that it's going to be, you know, six to 12 treatments and that they're going to need to maintain it. You need to set that expectation right at the beginning of their appointment. So with memberships, it's a chance for you to create residual income. You have your brand ambassadors. If they're going to be working for your company. They're basically going to be working for your company. You need to put them on a membership program to get services so that they look good and they can promote for you. Your clients, after their six sessions, they need to be on a membership program where they're coming in monthly, um, either bi-weekly or, week, or monthly or bi-weekly to maintain their um, image. You need to put them on a membership program so that it creates a residual income for you. You can set that up through PayPal. If anybody wants and needs help with that, let me know. I will show you how to set up a membership. It's very, very easy. It's hard if you don't know how to do it, but if you know how to do it, it's very easy. But I want you to start selling that membership ASAP. This is gonna. This is what can take your business from the next level. You can sell K and memberships just by itself, huh? What is something that you would include in a membership? Um, your maintenance is $99 every month. If you sign up for a membership, you're gonna get a treatment and maybe a, 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 a detox and a, and a full treatment. So the free gift is their detox treatment, you know, something like that that's enticing more than just them getting their regular treatment. Like in my studio, like I have, like I do a lot of frees. So I have a membership that's um, $400. So I'm, I, if, so my treatment is $150. If you get a membership and you pre, pre or prepay for it, it's for, it goes down to $100. If you get weekly, then I'm allowing you to get one freeze a month. So um, you're going to get a freeze a month plus your three cavitations. So, but you can only do that if you're on a membership or you prepay for it. So it really well, surprised me. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. You go ahead. Finish. No, it really surprised me that I have the $7.99 membership on there. And I had several women, I thought it was too expensive. I had seven men, women that said, oh, I want to get the $79.99, the $7.99 package. Because I have where you're getting your cavitation, you're getting your um, mesotherapy injection, you're coming in twice a week, so you're going to get optimal results. I had several women that want that package. So if it's important to them that if they have the means, they'll, they, they'll do it. But you got to put it in there. Don't be afraid to ask for the money. You don't know what their money is. Don't think your client's money is your money or what's important to you is important to them. You put the, off, uh, the offer out there, they'll tell you what they want. So I created a membership and I didn't think it was that expensive. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or not on my mm -hmm. page or not, but um, 
I did not think it was that expensive. I have not had one person commit to that. Have you, have you been pushing it? Not really. Yeah. You got to push it <laughs> after every service. Tell them why, what is the benefit? What's the benefit yeah. of them getting your membership versus them paying per visit? They got to have right. a benefit to it. So that's why I said, right. now you're, you're starting cool sculpting. So you can, that could be one freeze a month. Right. And I've been pushing packages. I think that's what I've been pushing the most is people to buy packages, not memberships. And yeah. so I've been doing really well at pushing packages. And so, but I feel like I can only push one thing or the other. Okay. And so I'm pushing packages right now. So, well, packages are great. That's how I started doing packages. And it was great. I can sell a $600 package. No problem. But after their six, six treatments, are they coming right. back? Right. That's, right. that's, that's why I'm trying to push memberships. So you yeah. need to make the membership more enticing than the package. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So. And, and you can even, even if you do the membership, if you set it up on PayPal, you don't have to set it up where they have to pay the whole 600 every month. You can set it up to where they pay every two weeks or something so it's affordable. Uh, and that way, because um, also I was doing packages and I mean, I was doing it where they, I collect the payment to get the package. You have to pay half down. Then, you know, they're paying week and then, you know, people are cash apping me in the middle of the week. And it's like, I don't even know who sent me this money. Like, I didn't, I was just like, no, I'm not doing this. Well, I, make them, I make them pay for the package up front. So okay. I don't let them, I don't let them do payments on the package. I'm like, you have to pay for it up front if you want that deal, because it's yeah. a very good deal when you're getting individual uh, uh, compromise uh, to individual treatments are a whole lot more expensive than the package so if you want that you've got to pay it all up front yeah and I mean, that's I'll a good thing oh go ahead I was gonna say that was a good thing about now you have the after pay and all that all those things that you can incorporate because um you know you're getting your payment right up front and they're paying them yeah, yeah and I don't and have you don't, that yet yeah I mean I don't have the after pay or anything because I use GoDaddy so I don't use Shopify yet so um, I'm still just using my GoDaddy. So I'm going to keep using that until I can't use that anymore. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you have any information on care credit? I mean, how do you have to be a medical spa to use care credit? I think so. I tried, I wasn't approved for it, but I tried it like when I very okay. first started up for it. Okay. Probably. Do because you, yeah, you, know, you have a clinical all this, license. Okay. All right. Um, but Another thing you may be, I don't use Square, but I know Square has Square payments. I think you can set your Square or your Quad Pay with your Square. Okay. Because Square links to GoDaddy. If you can set yes. it up on Square, then you can still do it. Okay. And I use Square for my appointments because it's free. So, you know, yeah. I'm going to use everything that's free that there yeah. is. <laughs> so, so I use Square for my appointments and that's how I process my payments. So maybe I can link that to my website. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know you can link the Square to it. Yeah. Let me tell you this. Be very careful with your, um, if you start to sell weight loss products, be careful list listing them on your website. So some web websites, the payment processors, don't like the weight loss products because that's why I don't have square on my um on, on my page because I was selling like the HCG and they didn't want any um oh, right. with weight loss stuff so be careful yeah you have to be careful with hemp products too uh -huh. um, yeah because I had that with my boutique so hemp products are really big you can't you have to be careful how you list them uh-huh yeah so I mean you can still do it you just got to be creative and maybe you know if, you, right. if it's not on there, you, you have it as something on your Facebook, you let your clients know what it is to buy it on your Facebook, you're on your page. Right. Um, you'll just be careful with that because you they will shut your, 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 your stuff down and you can't get any right. payment process. I went there through it for years. PayPal, um, Square, Stripe. On. <laughs> so, so are you using Shopify only now? Well, um, no, I have two websites. So I have, I still have my gold daddy because I, like I said, I, I work this, I've had it for two years and I really like what, what I did with it. So I just use them for different. <laughs> okay. But you are using Shopify for another. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a question about, um, oh goodness. Y'all was just talking about, um, 
quad pay? Or? Oh no, the weight loss. The weight loss. Oh. Can um like can't you just charge for the pills and the price like in your package and then just give them the pills for free without oh yeah i have a package i call it the weight loss package and it's six sessions it's six sessions um i think for like seven hundred dollars you get six sessions and you get your hcg or whichever diet supplement all in all in that so you could totally create a package like that okay and another question i have is about the um consultations why do people charge such such i got the hiccups i'm sorry excuse me <laughs> why do people charge such a cheap price for consultations because we want to get them in the door okay yeah i don't even charge for consultations i didn't at first until too many people wasted my time uh, no. well <laughs> yeah <laughs> But I'm going to tell you, I mean, I don't know about, I don't know if all these other people are selling waist trainers, but I'm going to tell you, I'm getting so many people that are coming in for waist trainers and just, um, kind of, that's how I'm getting a lot of business right now. It's just kind of, um, I'm promoting the waist trainers and the, all the other stuff I do, the liquid lipo, the laser lipo, all that stuff. So, um, but I'm getting a lot of business just in, I mean, I'm getting those from, from China. I mean, so they're coming in for the waist trainer and then discovering everything else. Yes. Oh, yes. that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that yeah, may that's be what something. I started with waist trainers. I, I did. I'm very well known mm-hmm. for waist trainers in Seattle. So, and um, I showed you my waist trainers and they're not and you as don't good even as yours. have a logo on your waist trainers. Why don't you have a logo on your waist because trainers? They told me I had to order a hundred of them, and I said I'm not ordering a hundred no, of don't. them. No, you don't. Well, the person that I dealt with is probably different than who me are you going with. through? Nabian? Um, somebody on that China website. Um, no, you gotta be careful. China, they would they they upsold you. You can get them without a hundred. I mean, I get them really <laughs> cheap. I get them for like four dollars and something a piece. So I get them like really really cheap. Oh, I the know. one who and I see. Through? I sent you a picture of the ones that I'm getting um, Mm -hmm. because I told you they weren't near as nice as yours, but they'll work. I mean, you know, but I'm selling them for like, I got them for like $4. Well, probably with shipping and stuff, it's probably close to $6, but I'm selling for $18 a piece. So, yeah. You better show me one for how much? Why are you selling them so cheap? Wait a minute. You selling them for how much? (laughs) That's cheap. I we know. gotta put her in the glam CEO time out. <laughs> but if I can get them to come in and buy a waist trainer and then buy $125 liquid lipo from me and then buy some services, I mean I'm making no, some it's, money. It's, it's it's bait and switch. If it's working, yeah. it's working. Yeah. But I want to know yeah. where you yeah, get the waist, waist trainer from because I, I don't it cost me $25 to just get the waist paint. That's just, just to get away. I'll send you, I'll but send the you fact- the link. But he told me if I ordered a hundred or more and they're like, I think I get four, not uh, four, four, I can't remember either four forty one or four ninety a piece for them, but I can get my logo put on them if I order a hundred or more, but I don't, I only order like 25 at a time. So if you're ordering for $4, why not just order a hundred? <laughs> I don't know, but right. I cheat sometimes. I mean, you know. But the thing is, you can sell your waist trainer. I mean, for one, I think your waist trainer price is really low. You can go up uh, your waist trainer yeah, for, to 50 right. and it'll still be 49. So gonna... It's 49 and it'll still be a 40. Well, this is and... what I did. So I went on Amazon, okay? And I said, because I, I bought one off Amazon when I first bought one. And I said, okay, what can I buy one off Amazon for? And so usually about 20 bucks is about what you can buy a waist trainer off Amazon for. So I said, well, okay, I want to undercut them. And so I want to find a waist trainer that is sufficient enough to do the purpose and mine's doing it uh, because people are, I mean, people are losing weight with it. Um, And I want to be cheaper than Amazon because, you know, Amazon is our worst enemy. Um, So that's why I'm selling them for $18. Well, I'm going to tell you because I'm a professional. We're all professionals. I'm saying (laughs) this. People come into my studio and pay minimum $70 for a waist trainer and I have not had not one complaint off of it but I think yours is 10 times nicer than mine it is nice but then if you're like me 
if you're like me, I think I, I think I have one of each and probably two of no three of one one kind. Right and now, the great thing, of, yeah, the great thing about that waist trainer is that you know they're going to need another one in six weeks. Yes. Yeah. Like, you know what? I would say this. Um, you, let me send you one of my waist trainers. Maybe you um get a have your low end waist trainer, but maybe you need a higher end waist trainer because. Need one that's kind of thicker on the way. Okay, so the, well, I sent you mine, but I can't show it to everybody. But I mean, I think for four dollars and something cents, it's a good waist trainer. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I do believe that I think the ones you showed me that you have are ten times better than what I have because I think they're higher on your waist. Well, uh, these are higher on the waist, more, and they, they don't roll down area. either. Yeah, they cover more area. So, um, but. I mean, you know, I was just looking for something that I could throw I mean, in there. Real you, fast. Your, your goal is not really to be the in the waist training business. Your thing. No, is my goal out. is yeah. I just mm-hmm. wanted something to complement my services, mm-hmm. and that was something I could get in there that was kind of cheap that I could add that people would purchase, and I'm still making you know fifteen to well about thirteen dollars a piece on every one of them, and I was like, I just want to throw something in there that. And I'm not there to, I mean, I'm not there to nickel and dime every one of my clients. So I'm there to, I want them to have that body. I want them to get the results they want. And I'm not there to nickel and dime them to get to death. So if I can get them something where I'm making a little bit of money. And I could Maybe be you can that, share the but, vendor because I know a lot of people are startup and they don't have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars to right. start with waist trainers. Do you know if yeah. they sell panties too? I don't know. I haven't asked them, that's but I'll thing share right with you. You need your butt lift panties too. Right, right. And I have not even purchased those yet. Um, so, and I've just started doing butt lifts. So, um, but I mean, I'll share with you who I'm using and you can share with everybody else. What, um, what about like uh, the zipper or the boning? It has the zipper, so it has a zipper up the front, and it has two string. It has two um, Velcro straps around the front. Oh, so it has no boning. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. But boning is the structure <laughs> of the the garment. It's like it's, it's not like stiff. The metal, it's the not completely. It's yeah, the not, metal. It's, okay. Yeah, it's not stiff. Um, I mean, you can move in it. I mean, if you make it tight, it's really tight. And so your gives garment you good is posture. A, it's a neoprene garment. Yes, that, yes. Oh, yeah, it's just a neoprene sweat that sweat garment. Yes, okay. yes. That's exactly correct. Okay, that's why it's a little cheaper. See, mine has like eight pieces of boning in it, so it really, oh. it really, um, bring, it really structures the body and like your like this yeah Um, no but i mean i had some good results with people wearing it where you haven't had them like break there so they're not breaking zippers nothing like that nope okay oh well that's good and there's some big girls that i'm fitting in these things i mean it's they told me i needed to be in the wedding dress business because i could fit in those (laughs) wow that's awesome (laughs) i'm very interested to find out this vendor information i'll send it to you question yeah Go, uh, Naisha, can you? Um, I want because you said they're only going to be in the waist trainer for six weeks. Can you explain that a little bit more? Because I'm in a shapewear group through it was a sister, uh, I don't even know which group she in, but um, I was following her one day on her page and and she had announced that anybody want to be in a shapewear group, so I'm in the shapewear group um on whatsapp but i know nothing about the waist trainer part do you think you can create like a waist trainer class because i this is like (laughs) speaking a foreign language to me i I mean yeah i mean whatever people need but Mm waist trainers i tell people like this right up front and i think this is why i have no problem with selling them from the price point i say your waist training after your body contouring is no different than you needing a compression gar- garment after a tummy tuck or liposuction. I tell them your uh-huh. body, while we are in, while you are in the studio and we are doing all this manipulating on your body, we're making your body like clay. So while you're at clay, like clay, this is your opportunity to reshape your body by wearing your waist trainer. So 
Um, they need to wear their waist trainer a minimum of four hours to eight hours daily if they want to re reshape their body. Anybody who's wearing their waist trainer four to eight hours a day after six weeks, your body should be ready to go down to the next size. That's mm -hmm. the whole thing. It's called fat cell mobilization. Yes. You are moving the fat from your waist to other parts of your body. It's complementary to the body contours because we, I mean, we're trying to get their waist smaller and their booties bigger. So this, way, this while they're losing, is compressing their waist to get smaller. And then that fat is spilling over into boobs and hips, the stuff we're trying to um, contour. So it just helps with the whole overall um, thing, uh, shape of things. I'm telling you, you if you've seen any of my pictures, if, you, if, if somebody follows the program for six weeks, most people, I can get their bodies totally reshaped in four to six weeks if they follow the instructions. Well, I'll be waiting for that class. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all keep giving me these classes. I'll, I'll, I'll put something together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that means, I guess you never think about, you know, how to make garments, how to make, pro you know what, because I need to do, I'm going to do a product knowledge class. Maybe I'll just kind of throw that into it because mm -hmm. you need to know what kind of things to offer your clients. Not everybody knows that. Sometimes we think that it's simple stuff that, but you know, you don't know where to find it. So and see, that was me. I was like, I don't know. I just need a waist trainer. So let me go on here and find me a waist trainer. Yeah. And so that's what I did. <laughs> well, your thought process was right. They need, I, like I said, they need to be in something. And I tell yeah. people, like one of my clients today, she's like, I'm so scared to retail. And I told her, if they don't mm -hmm. buy it from you, they're going to go on Amazon and buy it from somewhere. They might as well give it to you. And and then with if they're giving it to you, you're no, you know you're recommending the right things that's going to support their bodies, whether it's product, right. whether it's waist train or whatever. It's going to support your service. Not only is it going to support your service, but this is going to increase your income. You can easily, yeah. anybody who retails, Zandra, Tara, you can tell them, you can easily make a couple grand off of retail. Easily. Yeah, I need to get more stuff in because I know I could sell it because I push a lot of other stuff. And so I know if I can get more stuff in for retail, I could sell it. Yeah. So retail, do not, your clients are on mm -hmm. Amazon getting packages every day. They're bored. Yeah. They said, I saw a meme the other day, women don't do nothing but drink wine and order off of Amazon. I was like, that is the truest <laughs> statement I've ever heard. Asia, <laughs> well, I found some really nice waist trainers, um, but I, my personal opinion, I have paid as much as from Chase Scott for like $80 for one for myself personally. But I look for some to sell and I did come across a vendor, um, which, can you see that? Yeah. So, so that's, it, fill in, that's fill in girl, fill in me girl, whatever. Yeah, but I thought, because she was telling me 30 with my logo, no, 30 for 389, but the shipping fee was $211. Mm -hmm. So, and then mm -hmm. with the logo was 50, which would be a total of $650. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I can I do this I'm gonna um put the link that I'm in because those like what she just showed it's almost 200 women in the shapewear group from China and those things be like seven dollars wholesale a piece yeah I mean it's that different deal. qualities but I'm gonna tell you guys if Letitia Hill she's in her group um I think she charges 25 dollars for the waist trainers she um she she gets them from customs where you know you do sea shipping and she does all the custom stuff so she's not paying all of that in shipping so she brings them to the USA so you can get them straight from her. Mm -hmm. For twenty five dollars a piece. Yeah, twenty five dollars. Yeah, Letitia Hill. But that you know you beat the shipping price you know so. Yeah, it's expensive to ship from China. Yeah, and it uh, ever since COVID it's it's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gotten worse. And then, you know, every other week they're saying that they're shutting us down, that we're not even going to be importing, exporting. So I don't ever know what what, what to do next. So, but um, yes, that's what I pay. You, I know you, you're with filling me, girl. That's one of my vendors. Yeah. 
stones. That is correct. And their they logo nice. is ridiculous, huh? They nice. They they really nice. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, I have J Skull. I have like three or four, and I order one from Amazon. Um, that and I'm telling you, it's the most comfortable one, and it's the cheapest. <laughs> So if that works for you, just order them from Amazon and just double, you know, double your markup until you have, you know, enough to really splurge and buy. Just make sure you have. I, mean, I, I can buy it. I just thought that with the 211 shipping was just a little bit. So we, how many? So $600, right? With, with $651 for 30. For 30, that's 30. That's ridiculous. Let me see. How, what is yeah, that that's for? a high. But it, it it was just so it was just more so the shipping was two hundred. Oh, no, that's about right. That's making it twenty uh, twenty two dollars a garment. That's actually about right. Oh, okay. If you sell it for if you sell it for eighty, then you're making a sixty dollar profit. Yeah, because I think um, yeah, it it was more so the shipping. The shipping is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're so tw you're at twenty dollars a garment. So we all need Tara's person for four dollars. <laughs> well, I was I just ordered some more yesterday, so that's why I was trying to see how much I ordered. Um, so yesterday I just ordered some more, and I ordered. Hold on a minute. I was going to see how much my ship it. I don't think it'll pull up because I'm on this um, this live, but. It was not, but like eighty dollars shipping, and that's coming from China. And I ordered, let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. I ordered twenty-three garments, and it was um, seventy-four dollars shipping, and they were so I'm paying one hundred one hundred eighty dollars. Oh, that is cheap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I can't show y'all a picture, but <laughs> I'll send them to you and yeah. you can share them um, with everybody else in the group or I'll just send them in the group chat or whatever. Yeah. Um, I might could do that right now while we're sitting here, but I'll just send you a picture of kind of what the ones that I, I just sent them to y'all. Well, I know so these shores are gray. Do they have black? Well, I, the ones that I get is the gray and, um, you'll look at them. I just sent them in the group chat. Okay. All right. Well, that is a crazy deal. So is this off of AliExpress? It's from, um, Al, um, what is, is that from website? Alibaba? Yep. 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 Oh. Yep. 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 And how long yep. does the shipping take? Oh, he's fast. Um, he's very fast. It's called Kevin's son. That's the name that I use. I'm going to send you a screenshot of this. Hold on a minute. Well, for anybody starting a business, that sounds like the way to go. Yeah, I think yeah. I'll send you, I'll send you all the link to this um, because I think they're good and people are getting, I mean, I think people are getting good results out of them um, and they're cheap. I mean, they don't have the bone thing in them. I didn't even know what that was, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. but um people are really having great results with them so I mean I'm sure they they could be better so but I mean for something cheap if you just want to have something to get started then it sounds like it's a good plan yeah I just send it to everybody in the group so they yeah. can go on there and look at that yeah so I'm I'm interested in it I want to see if they have panties because um they yeah might. I look like paying you know, four dollars a pair of panties. I went to order some panties today, and after shipping, I'm like, the panties were seven dollars, and I was like, I'm not paying seven dollars for a pair of panties. No, you know, and then I got to sell them for twenty to be, you know, make any kind of a profit. So I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. but yeah. So wow, that's good information. Thank you so much for sharing that. Sophia, yeah, are you know. using waist trainers? No, not yet. Okay. All right. I think we lost Jasmine. I don't see her on here. But yeah, that is some really, really good information. So who needs, who wants to start memberships? I do. Okay. So we get, get you started with memberships. Do you have a PayPal? Yes, we do. Okay. So yeah. I know Sh Shonda, you're going to get started. You said you're going to get your machine here in the next couple of days. 
So we need to get yeah. you started getting some work done. I put a bunch of pictures in the on, in our Glam to Yale group for anybody who don't have content. So you're welcome to use those pictures. I say just just hashtag Glam Slim or Glam Glam CEO, whatever. But um, use those pictures to create some buzz. Make sure you use all the hashtags. Um, if you need help with hashtags, um, I, I I'll post some hashtags in the group too. But um, hashtag hashtag we need to find you. Everybody to find you. Is everybody linked? Everybody have a Facebook business page mm -hmm. and a Facebook and Instagram business page. They both need to be business pages and yeah. they need to link to each other. Everybody has that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Shonda, have you worked on your bio? No, huh? I don't on my bio today. No, we but I do people, have 10, want... I got 10 brand ambassadors. I do have that. Oh, what? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so I do. We gonna get them all. You need. I want you to start them out on membership. Okay. Yes. Uh, I took a brand ambassador class back in October. That was the first class I ever took, even before I went and got trained. Who was that with? Um, it was with Tiffany Henderson. Tiffany, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I had took her brand ambassador training because Tiffany is actually the person that trained me, and oh. so. Um, and so I learned so much. And um, so they just, everybody just waiting on, on me to get the machine so I can, you know, get started. And she gave us contracts and everything for them to uh -huh. sign. And so that way they will know their responsibilities and roles and all of that. So, uh -huh. so the main thing with brand ambassadors, they're just like anybody else. You got to be very diligent about what you want or they'll fall off. I mean, we're at, at the tone. You got to set what your expectations are for brand ambassadors, for clients, for everything. The, the more together you are, the more they will follow you. If you don't seem like you got it together, then they will fall off. So you putting it together, setting the expectations, putting the contract out there, that will build your business faster than anything. That membership program, because everybody knows how a membership is. We all got gym memberships that we pay for for months and don't go to. So that's when we're talking about, we wanna get out of the habit of always fishing for clients, fishing for everything. You should always be marketing, but you want to have something that's stable and residual for yourself and for your businesses. And the people like Tiffany, um, Samara, those people have the most thriving businesses are people who have membership programs. Because people are paying for it, they're gonna come. They're, if they do that, they're serious about it. People who one and done clients, so they're not serious about it. We want to get people, and I don't, and I hear that from a lot of people. We're in small towns, small towns, but there's some big money people in them small towns too. We just gotta find them. So people are gonna pay for what they, um, what they feel is important to them. How many poor people wear nothing but Jordans? How many poor mm -hmm. people got Gucci bags and Gucci millions, bags? millions, <laughs> millions. <laughs> So you, they got, you let them decide what's important to them, but you put it out on the table and you set the expectation for what you want from your business. The more confident you are, because I, you know, I would tell you guys like, now I used to be like, I think I took someone's training first and she said to do $50 butt lifts and I was doing $50 butt lifts. And then I, and then I, you know, I created my own strategy with the 5D butt sculpture and and I was like, you know what? I'm damn, I'm damn good at this. What am I going to charge fifty dollars for? Now, if you want to see me for a butt lift, it's minimum one hundred fifty dollars because I know I can get you results, and I need you to commit to six sessions. If you're not going to do that, you know what? Don't even waste my time. And when you're confident, they they'll see your confidence and they'll they'll come. I remember, like I was a hairdresser for twenty years, and people would call me. I charge two hundred dollars for a weave, and they would call. I want to get a weed and oh can it be a, a, a cheaper price and i'd be like all right well thank you so much for calling bye <laughs> hang up like that oh my god i'll i'll, I'll pay the 200 da, 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 because you're confident so <laughs> it, it's all in how you express yourself that's how i am now with this butt list i'm like if you want to come see me it's going to be a, a minimum of 150 dollars taking that training when is butt? your training when is um, that next training? Actually, the next training is after your cool sculpting class. How much is what that day for is the cool sculpting? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you don't need no more classes now. You get your machine first. <laughs> $199. <laughs> well, I need to take that because I okay. took one and I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I show you a lot more things and it actually will be beneficial for you because for one thing you have the S-shaped machine and you're also already into electric creation. So in my butt Yeah, but I don't have the curve machine, but I have a I have a butt lift machine, but it's Oh, not it doesn't matter. The main, okay. main thing is you have the electric creation tool from the uh, Shape. Yes, I do have that. And I've been using that with that stuff, that fat dissolver uh -huh. you said. It me. works. Yeah. Yeah. I've been using it. Okay, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so another thing, if you're using, but are you prepping the body before you use it? I did the other day. I put some, because I'm an esthetician too. So oh, I have okay. glycolic acid. Oh, okay. My, so you already know. In okay. my salon already. So I did the other day when I used it, I did put some glycolic acid on there and kind of um, used it that way. Um, but I did use it on my chin the other day because, you know, I'm kind of a heavy girl. But um, I used it on my chin the other day, and I didn't prep that. I just, like, put it on there. And, yeah. You know, but if you use the EMS, if you, because you can still use the EMS tool. And the EMS tool will still help the yeah. skin and the muscle. Uh, yeah. Adhere to yeah. So. so hopefully I'll be skinny one day. <laughs> but I people love that uh, that that electroporation tool. I but everybody calls me after they get the machine I'm like I love this. I love this. So Brenda, I yeah, know you just got an S shape, right? I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had, machine. I had the nine and one, um, which is like my begin. I say my beginning machine, but now that I have the S shape machine, I'm in love. I tell people, I tell people all the time. I'd be like, it saves you so much work. You don't have to, you know, that RF dual head, the, the EMS exploration. I was like, that's why, that's why I got it. Cause I, I made a curve because I came up with um, the 5D butt sculpture thing. And then I was like, I need a machine that's going to do like, instead of having a bunch of machines all over, I was like, I need one machine that can just do everything. And so mm -hmm. then I talked to the Mitra way. And then I they had them custom create the S shape to be um, the butt lift machine. So that's how the 5D curve came about. But um, yeah, Sophia, what do you have? Oh, so I was actually asking because I took your 5D butt sculpting class, but I wanted to know if the electroporation, if it hurts. I never asked you that question. Um, mm -hmm. No. I mean, no, they, it can, it, it, they can feel it, but it's not painful. Oh, okay. You'll feel and, it um, more on the face than on the body. <laughs> on the body, literally use it at 10 because it, it is a lower frequency because I know Tara's a, 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 a esthetician. So, you know, traditional um, electroporation machine, you need a negative and a positive. I don't mm -hmm. know how this machine is made without a negative and a positive, but it definitely still works and you can definitely feel, feel it. It is not painful. Yeah, but on your chin, you can't use it at 10. No, like five. I'll <laughs> I tried it at 10. You can't. <laughs> but on the body, use it at full strength. Yeah. You, it's a lower frequency. So you want the highest frequency you can get out of it. So it can really mm -hmm. get the product into the dermal layer of the skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have two more questions regarding that. Were okay. there any side effects from the meso for the Glutox? I think it was the... Um, there's no side effects. Um, if people have... I mean, if they're highly allergic to people, they... I mean, their plant has... So they could have an allergic reaction, but I mean, it's so rare. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. And once you stop with the 5D butt sculpt, does the muscle eventually go down afterwards? It's like, yes. Yeah, so that's why they need to come for their once a month maintenance and they need to do their squats and everything at home. Okay. So I just that say, if anybody, if they've invested at least a thousand dollars into this butt, why wouldn't they want to come and spend hundred dollars a month and keep it maintained? Mm -hmm. so. uh, Naisha, um, are you going to put the video from the five D butt lift class in the, in our group, the recording? Yes, I just downloaded it, so I was um, working on that. That downloading the videos is a, a pain, Xandra. That's what I need you to do is download these videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> but yes, I was just working on that. That's a download the video. You can call me afterward. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so well, that's pretty gonna, much. Oh, uh, oh wait, sorry. are we doing Canva tonight or that's next week? Next week. I think that was on next week. Okay, and one more thing. The card that I use to set up my um, membership for this class that is the card that remember i was saying that they had got a hold of my cash mm -hmm. app card 
So that was the card that I used to pay for the class. How can so I you cancel that? You should be able still- to go right in and, and change it. Okay, I'm still waiting for a new card to come. It's they oh, mailed okay. it, but it yeah. hasn't so got you should here. Should be able to go in. So okay. that's pretty good. So we did put some contest strategies in um, the text with, right before you went through. So um, I'm going to tell you one of the best contests that I've done, um, especially for this type of year, especially if you're somebody who wants to retail weight loss programs, is do a weight loss challenge, especially Tara, in your area where you have a, you have all those salon people. Get like mm-hmm. you know, 10, 20 people in that challenge. They got to buy some HCG or something like that or some type of supplement from you, spend $100, and whoever wins gets like six body cont- contouring sessions. Hey, let me ask you, if we do the private labeling for the weight loss supplements that you have, how long does it take to get those in? Um, probably like a week, not long. Not long? Mm-mm. Okay. And which one, okay, let me ask you, which, okay, because you have several, so which t- one do you I'll think is them. the best? I'm going to explain them all to you. So the okay. first one is HCG. HCG is a low dose of the pregnancy hormone. This right. is a homeopathic drop formula, but it is real HCG and it contains B12. So this is for those people that really want to lose weight very, very quickly. If you do use HCG and you're doing body sculpting, you need to switch to mineral oil because on the HCG diet, you can't have, you can't be exposed to any oils other than mineral oil because what the HCG does is it makes the body metabolize your excess fat. Um, So the HCG alone doesn't make you lose weight. It's the HCG that makes your body become like a fat burning machine. That's why on this diet, you can only consume five to 800 calories and it has to be very specific food. If they do this, they can easily drop 30 pounds in 30 days. This is for the person who wants, like it's their wedding coming up or it's their 50th year anniversary or they want to lose weight very quickly and they are dedicated. Usually the ideal client for an HCG person is somebody who's already dieting and they want something faster than what's happening. The... Liquid so mineral oil, oil, let me ask you, mineral oil, are you talking about like gl- uh, glycerin oil? No, is mineral oil, just pure mineral oil. You can get it to off To use Amazon. for your cavitash? Uh-huh, with oh. your S-shape, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Because with the, with the HCG, what will ha- end up happening, if your client's on HCG and you're putting oil, their body is going to burn that oil before it burns their fat. The gotcha. body becomes so sensitive to fat that it'll burn before it'll so you got to use mineral oil. So that's the one thing with that. The, okay. The other supplement is like all natural. That's for somebody who just wants to kind of suppress their appetite. They're already dieting. They just want something that's going to kick up their metabolism. It's all natural. It contains nothing but Garcinia cambogia, red, uh, that red berry, red raspberry ketones and uh, coffee. No, sorry, African mango. So this is all natural just gonna I mean when you take those drops like you will forget to eat like it you have no it just you'll literally forget to eat but it's all natural and it, you'll you'll have a little with everything I'll give you a little diet plan that you can give your client and then the last one is coffee that's for the person who wants a, a little caffeine like they don't want to be all natural they want a little energy they want a little pick me up so that would be the difference between those three supplements so on the other one, that's kind of like the key, that's got the ketones in it. So is that like the ketones that get you in ketosis? Um, well, it won't get you into ketosis unless you're um, doing a low carb diet, but okay. Um, yeah, okay. but it will, it will suppress your appetite and increase your metabolism. So any questions about that? And then the last one is the Aussie berry cleanse. And yeah. that one is um, that one is just a detox. So that's really good for your clients. If if you're if they're not on a tea or something, it's a good retail item to put them on to clean their body to help to clean the colon and everything. So their cavitation results are better. And I would say it's a really good thing if you get like any three of them. If you just market it as a ninety nine dollar weight kit, I have like you can put you know you can pick the, the supplement that's appropriate for their body. You can pick the slimming cream that's appropriate for their body and, and put it in a, um, and give them the detox and they can have a weight loss kit. Okay. Let me ask you another question. And I know you're probably ready. Oh, we're fine. 
I'm sorry. Okay, the purple slim and cream. Mm-hmm. You know which one I'm talking about? The one mm-hmm. I got it in one of my samples I got from you. Okay, so you know I do the liquid lipo too. Um, so how good is that compared to that? Because that's a lot cheaper. So if I could sell the purple slim and cream compared to that, do you do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they essentially do the same thing because it's okay. like a fat burning lotion. I think um, I would have to look at the ingredients of liquid lipo, but I think essentially that they, they do the same thing. Now, the one benefit of liquid lipo is that it's, it's popular. It's so the, those people that are looking for it want right. that, but it is nice to have a more affordable option for people as well. And you do not, you do not retail the coffee bean scrub or the coffee, green coffee bean oil. Or... We can retail whatever you want. Yeah. You let me know what okay. you want. I can always put, I can put whatever you want. No, I'm just asking you like personally, you don't retail oh. that, do you? Um, I, I don't, I mean, I, I had clients that love the scrub. I never thought about retailing it to them, but I guess I could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But pretty much the one that you retail the most is probably the purple slimming lotion. I retail the most hot gel, cold gel, and slimming lotion. Oh, and you've got the hot gel too. I did get a sample of that and I did yeah. try that. Also. So the so slimming the cream gel. would be for like all over fat loss. Like it's their, their daily lotion. The right. hot gel would be for wrapping underneath their waist trainer. So it would be an upsell for you with your waist trainer to get, have them get osmotic right. wrap and hot gel. And they should be wrapping with that for an hour a day. For your clients that have saggy skin, they need cold gel to help um, build the firmness and elasticity back into their skin. Do you wholesale the Osmatic Wrap? Yes. You do? Well, I sell it for $5. If you want um, if you want to private label it, you can. It, it would be 100 of them, but you can get it with your logo and stuff. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But yeah, that's the wholesale price. To clients, I sell it for 10. So to anybody, I just sell um, that's associated. Okay. It's just $5. So what, well, what I don't, is the cold gel? Huh? What's the cold gel? Um, I, don't, uh, I don't think I put cold gel in the kit um, initially. Yeah, because I, yeah, I didn't. I yeah, didn't I get... just, the kit was, I, I did like the most five popular ones. The cold gel is, uh, helps with firmness of the skin. Mm. So someone with saggy skin, you would recommend them to use cold gel opposed to the one that you sent, the hot gel with the wrap or? Yeah, if they're, so yeah, dealing on what your client's case is. If they're here for fat burn, I would send them with slimming cream to use all over the body and they need to wrap with hot gel for an hour a day with their waist trainer. Mm -hmm. Um, If they're dealing with in, um, skin, then I would put cold gel, but I would still recommend slimming cream and cold gel. The slimming cream can go all over the body. Oh yeah, yeah, the purple one. Yeah, I like that one. I mean, I try it, right. and I like the um, the coffee oil. Oh, I love the coffee oil. Oh yeah. And then your Alga Cafe, in case you guys don't know, that's for your sauna treatment. So yes. if they're dealing with cellulite or anything, that's what you're going to put them on. And they need to be in that sauna for 20 minutes. That's going to help drain their body and like so drain their cellulite. Hmm? What area? What areas do you put that in? Their most troublesome area? Or? Yeah, stomach and thighs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any more questions? Shonda, I, I know you've been using the products. Which ones do you like? Um, I like the. Um, I love the green coffee oil. Mm-hmm. I like the purple cream. I'm almost done with my um, acai, uh, the acai uh, uh, detox. I see bear, yeah. The acai bear, yeah. So I like that. Um, I like, <laughs> I really, I like the coffee scrub. It's, it's just, just a little messy. It's just get all over yeah, I had it thinner and it was cleaner, but I didn't feel like it was scrubbing enough. So I made it thicker. So I, and I haven't, that's one product I haven't used yet. So prior to a capitation, based on your video, you just basically rub it in that area, clean it up, and then don't do, do it before cavitation, not with okay. an S-shaped machine. That machine will be sparking all over the place. 
Do it oh. before your body wrap. So you always want to do a scrub, even if it's not coffee scrub, any kind of scrub. Mm -hmm. You want to prep the body so that your product will absorb. So you, it's just an exfoliator. So before you do your body wrap, before you do your Alga Cafe, you want to prep the, the treatment area so that the product you're putting on will absorb deeper into the skin. So you, so you leave it up there? No, you want, you're going to scrub them and then wipe it off, okay, towel block okay, them, okay. and then um, okay, put the product okay. on. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought you did. Okay. Okay, yeah. But if they're just doing a detox track, do you do capitation? Or do you just do all the steps that you did in your, I, well, I know that you had some steps in there where you did the electroporation and stuff like that. But if you're just doing like a de uh, detox cellulite route, you just pretty much use that scrub, right? Yeah. And so I'll really tell you what I do because um, with the mesotherapy, the artichoke, because it's just artichoke extract and, and caffeine. I actually have them drink a bottle of the artichoke. So that'll kind of create an internal drainage. And then I scrub them with the coffee. And then I put the Alga Cafe on, which has artichoke and other draining ingredients. And then I sauna bag them for... Uh, 20 to 40 minutes and what was the first thing you said you used the artichoke it's a um it's a mesotherapy product it's just pure artichoke it's artichoke and caffeine extract oh i don't think i've tried that yeah you haven't you haven't tried that one yet. <laughs> yeah uh -huh. okay you said you have them drink it mm-hmm okay so and I started. That, I got that. The, I got that from the straight from the Armiso rep to tell me to do that. So I did not make that. Up. <laughs> and it actually works when you drink it, like yeah. twenty four hours. Like Sandra it just works. got her got her a bottle to start drinking it. it so works. how much is that? How much is that drink? Oh, it's only fifty dollars. Oh. So how much do they drink at one time? Well, it's only five vials, so oh. just one vial. Oh, one vial. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to order some of that. Okay. Okay. So how much is it and how much do you charge them for it? So basically, so if it's fit, so it's $10, right? So if I'm going to drink it, I would at least do a double mark on it of it and charge 20. So, so they drink that vial, then you do the coffee scrub, then you do the algae route. Uh -huh. or the algae that you put the algae cafe, cafe on there uh -huh. and then you wrap them and put them in the solid blanket for 20 30 minutes yeah. and what kind of results are you seeing from that oh my goodness i have a client right now who has edema and she's been coming like her body is so tight she wants cavitation i refuse to do it because i was like you're, it's a waste of time because you're, you're so inflamed so i've been putting her on she's on her second treatment she's already down four inches let me ask you this. I've got a woman that just came in, just came into me and I swear she's probably 450 pounds and I wouldn't do cavitation on her because I can't, I mean, I just don't think it's really the time to do that. She needs to start addressing her weight and stuff like that. But I did do laser lipo on her. Um, I mean, I put her under, um, I did a sauna belt on her belly and I sent her home with um, liquid lipo and I told her to use ace binges because she's so large that you can't get a waist trainer to fit her. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, she's pretty big, but she's done really, really well with that. I mean, she's losing inches. Okay. So what would you recommend for someone that that's, that's big? I mean, she's her, what her belly um, is probably close to 60 inches. Um. So what do you mean, like product-wise or treatment-wise or, or something? Treatment-wise, yeah. Somebody that comes, and you don't want to I turn somebody I think what you're doing is perfect. Okay. Yeah. But what would be your next step? Because, I mean, I did tell her a three session of laser lipo because I was like, we got to do this and just kind of kind of shrink those shit cells a little bit and build on that. But what would you do after that? I would give her a goal. I would tell her um, once she gets down to you know, 25 pounds or something, then you would start doing cavitation for her. Like give her a goal to get down yeah, to I mean, her, her belly hangs way low. I mean, well, you seen the picture that I did not too long ago and I had amazing results with this girl, but this girl is like huge. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about anybody, but she's just a big girl. She just needs and to I mean, lose I'm, weight. So what I'm you're doing, what you can do for her 
I don't think cavitation is going to be beneficial for her, no. but you can start doing some RF on her to kind of start working on tightening that skin. And she's a vegetarian. And, and I told her, I said, well, are you eating any protein? And she was like, well, a little bit. So I got her own, pro- I was like, you've got to eat some protein because protein helps shrink that body. I mean, that belly weight. And, yeah. so, and then you got to be careful because some people they're vegetarians and she might be overloading on carbs thinking she's eating she healthy. Is. She eats tons of beans and beans are terrible in carbs Yeah, and sodium. And I was like, you got to quit eating all that stuff. So, I mean, you know, I just don't know what you do for people that come in and they want she your needs services. To be and on HCG. She, you need to put her on HCG and mm-hmm. give her a vegetarian protocol. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do with her. If she's, uh, if she's committed. Okay. Mm-hmm. But well, as far as treatment, I agree with you. I wouldn't do cavitation on her. It's not even going to do nothing. No, no. Um, I just want to comment and say that those people, those are what you call starchitarians. They're not vegetarians. Is that what it is? <laughs> I used to be well, a full I don't fledged raw foodist vegan so vegetarian. I so. mm-hmm. But I was like, how are you that big and you're a vegetarian? I mean, but I don't know. I'm not a vegetarian, so I don't know. Vegetarians. But I'm not saying anything bad. People could be, I mean, I'm not saying you can be very healthy vegetarians, but I was just like, you gotta have some protein in there. Well, is she eating too on her body? How is she? What is she doing? Like, is she exercising? Well, I, she has a treadmill at home. So I told her, I said, you've got to start using that treadmill. And I said, you have to start using that treadmill. And you have to, I think she's eating too much sodium because I think she's eating and she only drinks water. Um, but there's no way in hell. And I, I mean, that you can be that big and you're drinking water all the time. You're using a treadmill and you're a vegetarian but she is you know what you know clients what? lie too i know they do <laughs> i know but i was like oh my god <laughs> but i was like okay you're a lot there's no way <laughs> yeah. so but i have been checking on her all week and she has made progress or she's told me she's made progress because they're sent her home with a measuring tape and all this stuff and um so i'll see her back this week and but I'll are you putting her on the vibration plate when she's there i'm too scared to put her on the bra- vibr- oh you think she'll break it i i'm scared yeah <gasps> yeah i mean she big. she needs hcg and this is what i would tell her this is what you need to do because basically i've got some need- hcg that i got from you and i'm gonna take it and give it to her put, give her hcg did i send you the manuals i'll send you the, i, I no, thought i did didn't send me the i'll resend it um Tell her this, like, she's got to learn to eat like this, because even if she has surgery, she's going to have to eat like on this HCG diet. And she has so much fat that she's not going to be hungry because she has plenty of fat to survive off of. So she needs HCG, like, yesterday. I mean, her belly hangs down to the middle of her thighs. And that's full of fat. Yes, yes. Uh And I feel, I feel terrible for, I mean, you know, I want to, you want to, that's the kind of people you want to help them, but they've got to help themselves you know well she's helping herself i mean she, she came, came. She, yeah, came. she came you know rome wasn't built in a day so she's I there know, she was so embarrassed because one of her really good friends came to me and she was so embarrassed to come to me and i tell her not to be embarrassed i mean i'm not gonna judge her i mean you know just let's come let's see what we can do to help her give her acg put her on a membership pr- program because she's going she needs to be with you for a good year I mean, do you oh, think wow. the laser lipo? I mean, your honest op- opinion. Do you think the laser lipo is gonna do what I need it to do right now? Yeah. Okay. So it depends on how you're doing it, because I have like, because I have a plan on it for an hour. Yeah, but do you? Ha- I have. So this is what I did. I kind of made a bed because I have a client that's in the same predicament, and I was just like, I'm not even gonna do cavitation on you. So I have. Um, so I did the sauna drainage that I told you I had her drink the artichoke I did the coffee I did the Alja Cafe wrapped her in plastic put her sauna blanket treatment one treatment two I did I just I did the same thing coffee scrubbed her rubbed her down with um one of the slimming creams and I bagged her and and and, and laid her in lasers for an hour because I was like that's the best thing it's gonna at least create it's gonna create help for their circulation it's going to help raise their metabolism. It's going to help with fatigue. So hopefully give them energy. So there's a lot of positive things that are happening with, with um, 
that treatment. If they are severely obese, if you're working on them, you could be more harmful to them if they have fatty liver. If they have tri very high triglycerides over 180, it's actually more harmful. She, oh, you know she doesn't? I'll ask her. Um, I asked her well, how, how did her she blood know? Was. She, she said she's okay. So she said she gets her blood work done um, frequently, and I said, "Is your triglycerides high?" And she said, "No." And I said, "Okay." I would ask for a copy of it, but if her triglycerides are not high, she can do cavitation. I know, but my triglycerides are high, and I'm not even close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think she was lying. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's yeah. It, so, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm like 200 pounds and my triglycerides are high. <laughs> you know? If you want to do, I would ask for proof. I would need to see it. If she has it, she can get a printout and show it to you. But as for now, I would give her a goal. And I would say until yeah. you're down 25, 30 pounds, we're not going to do cavitation. And I would put her on a membership so she don't okay. fall off. Because if, okay. if she's paying uh, one by one, she's going to fall off because she's going to get discouraged. Right, right, right. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, 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 you ain't up there eating no cookie. Mm -hmm. I'm eating a bean pie, my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. No, it's it's a bean pie. Okay, I got a quick question. It's for the Alja Cafe. Um, can people have an allergic reaction if they're allergic to shellfish? Um, they shouldn't. There's nothing shellfish in it. It's like artichoke and DMA, D, DMA and trial and stuff like that. Just natural drainings. There's no nothing seafood. Okay, I was thinking that it had algae in it. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's just what it's called. Yeah. Okay. So when is that product class coming up? No. <laughs> oh, I I'm just waiting for like all of my shipments to get in, and then I'm gonna do product knowledge class. Okay, and when I get my machine, I'm going to get a whole nother kit and that, um, the waist thingy, the infrared waist belt too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'll get the belt. Mm -hmm. I really like you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's, hey, order, so this was awesome, huh? Order the cool sculpting machine or the fat freeze machine. I just ordered it and I got it in yesterday. Yeah, and see, I, I wish you would have been on the, we did this a day late. You should go back and put it in the box. And, and oh my god that thing came and i was like it looked like an animal had been transported to me that's what kind of box it came in and i was <laughs> like and i bought a lot of stuff from china okay and i was just like oh my god i told my husband i couldn't even pick it up yeah i, I may mean, had to make my husband take it to the shop and get it out and it was like we had to pry it out of that box. you have to pry it with the hammer but what yeah. you need to do this is so i mean you can't I mean, you could call and probably stick it in the box, but you should go back on live and do an unveiling. So <laughs> I, know, it, I am not putting it back in that box. <laughs> all right, we'll just do a cloth. Just do a cloth and say, you know, uh, make an announcement or maybe build up a buzz. Well, I gotta finish time. putting it together first. This oh, okay, it's not even put together. <laughs> you got the video though. So build yeah. up a buzz. Show you can still show the box. Do you still have it? Oh, I still got the box. So show the yeah. box. And make a post and build up a buzz and be like, this is something really new and exciting. And talk about it for the next couple of days until your training. Every day, mm -hmm. build up a buzz about it. And then finally, you're going to say, what unveil is cool sculpting now available at your salon. So. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you if you don't want to use all those attachments that came with that, because I don't want to use all that cavitation. The laser? Like a, yeah, I don't want to use all that. I have all that. So can I just not hook that up? Um, you can, but I would use the cavitate. I mean, if you're ever working on two clients, it's definitely helpful. I know, but I like my S shape. I like RF and. But do you ever do you have a traditional um five and one laser machine? No, I don't have a, the only laser machine I have is my laser belts and mats. So, I would use the lasers because if you do um if you ever want to do like thighs or the small of the back while you're while they're sitting on the butt lift the lasers are really good for that oh okay well i wasn't gonna hook all of it up because i was like i don't need all this but yeah i would hook it all up because you i mean the cavitation rf maybe you don't need them but um they're good machines it's a great machine for backup machines eventually yeah. you only have one studio one space 
Well, I already have an extra cavitation machine that I oh, bought okay. before I bought my S shape, but I need to get rid of that because yeah. I don't need it anymore with this. So that cavitation, if you have a five in one, that cavitation machine on that cool sculpting machine is going to be stronger than the five in one. And it's also dual head radio frequency. Oh, it is on the, um, on the cool sculpting? On the cavitation head. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. <laughs> It's a great machine. It was it was my first. Like when I first started really getting good, like great results, it was from that machine. Oh, I think I'm gonna try it on me before you even try train me. <laughs> Make sure you use your pads. Your I don't have I don't have my membranes yet. Oh, okay. I can't do it. Okay. Make sure you yeah. Oh, that, all right. Oh. I know Sophia is interested in cool sculpting, so that would be yeah. yeah. Um, oh, wait, you can. I can show her that big old box I got. <laughs> I like to freak out. <laughs> but yeah, cool sculpting. Um, don't. I don't know why there's a lot of people going on in these groups. They say it don't work. I, I think they just don't know how to work it. Obviously, cool sculpting works. It's a billion dollar industry. It's a That's what of thank you you Yeah, it works very well. You just gotta know what you're doing. I've heard oh, a lot okay. of people say that it didn't work. So. Um, that's why when I talked to you and you, you know, convinced me that it did work, I was like, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. best pictures come from, because I, I, what I do, I mix the two. So what you'll learn is right. called like the 3D factory. So you'll learn. And I'm telling you, those pictures are real. I don't, I don't touch my pictures. So those four weeks, they stick to the program, those four consecutive sessions, and they follow their healthy diet and exercises. They can, and wear their waist trainer. They can really change their body four to six weeks. So do, then, you, do you use the M sculpt? No, I don't have that yet. The M sculpt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's probably gonna be my next machine. I seen where somebody got it really cheap, so I'll send you the link. Yeah, I'm leery of that. I've seen some seven hundred dollar EM sculpts. No, like, this one was like eighteen. Oh, okay. That's Is that 18. the um two handles or the four? The one I seen. Mm -hmm. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me go back and look at my picture. I think it was four. Oh, yeah, that is cheap. It was 1800 but Naisha is going to have to learn how to use it so she can teach us. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I was inquiring about that, and I think they where the site that I went on was like 38 Hold on a minute. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a. 38 is going to be the real machine. So she, oh, the, yeah. the one that I saw, it was like half the size, and I was like, uh, but is it full, still full size? Hold on a minute. I'm going to send it to y'all. Because on. they do have portable ones. No, I don't want that. If I'm getting yeah. it, I'm getting the real thing. Yeah. Um, Naisha. I think it was 1800 see, oh. Oh. Um, Naisha. <laughs> sorry, Tara. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everybody's no, okay. I, I just want to ask, did you see, you're in uh, Christina Perez's group, right? No, I'm not in her group, but what about it? She sent, um, this is for her dream body um, sculpting machine, but she put an article in there that I went and read. It was so awesome. And it was a doctor's validation about the different frequencies of the cavitation machine. Mm -hmm. and, the and he was saying how the 40K cavitation machine, how um, basically that you get the slowest results with it. That's not the professional grade. And it really doesn't do anything and that you need to at least be working with the 30K machine or a 25K. And that is um, true for medical. Permanent yeah. results. Um, so those are considered, so it's S-sculpt. Is that considered, since it's 30K, is that considered medical or professional? S-shape is... Um, so this is the thing. So um, it's only going to be medical if you're buying it from a, a medical source because we are, you know, mostly cosmetologists and estheticians. We do want to work at 40K because that is in our scope of practice. But, um, you know, the 30K, that the S-shape is one of the few machines that I know that's 30K, but you're not medical until you're into 25K. Have okay. you used the 25K? I've never, I don't even know a machine that's 25K. So. Yeah, I haven't seen one either, but. Okay. Yeah, but it was such a good read. And he was saying that you really get um, 
more long lasting and you can actually get permanent results using those but her machine is not her machine's 40k so i don't know why she oh is it no i I think it was somebody um telling her that i'm assuming i didn't read that part but she was saying something like um somebody was trying to go back and forth with her and then she said here is medical proof that it's a doc these are you got doctors out here that's just letting you know that the but you know what a lot of these people don't they don't need to be working everybody don't need to be working 30k or less like a lot of people aren't trained and they're grabbing these machines off of ebay and don't know what they're doing and if they were working too low then they could be really causing some harm to people and um, right now in our states, we're unregulated in cosmic in this business. So a lot of people, we can do it with our cosmetology and our esthetician license. But if these people keep messing up people, they're going to mess up the business for us. And we're going to have to have medical directors in our salon studio. Yeah. So what, uh, let me ask you, so that Christina Perez, I don't really know much about her, but is she doing anything any different than what we're doing? No, she just has a very expensive machine. She's just an excellent marketer. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, she 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 has a good marketing person. I think her name is Jasmine. Um, I mean, I've had several conversations with Christina. Christina, were you in her class the other day? The Law of Attraction with um, Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine. Yeah. That was the other day. I missed my class because I paid for it. Oh, oh gosh. I have the video. I can send it to you. Thank you. Please do because I missed yeah. it. And I paid for it back in November or something. <laughs> yeah, but I think with Christina, I know her machine has the three prongs on it. it has right. three, it's three just head RF. Thing, yes. The machine That's is a three right. head RF. I actually talked to a lady today that has the machine and she was very unhappy with the machine. Like she's paid the 6000 and she's like, she just signed up with me to buy a machine for me. She was like- Her machine is $6,000? yeah oh no it's 85 well it's 8500 now for oh it went up oh wow yeah if you if you were not in that group before these uh this before january 1st of this year it went up to 8500 for well it went up to 8500 for anybody that was a part of the group already from last year if you if you signed up as of january 1st to be in her group the machine is now 12500 she posted that back in uh october november November, I think. Yeah. And I what actually, kind of machine 12, is she using? Now it's twelve five. I trained somebody who didn't want to go. Th- they bought her machine and they didn't want to go through her training. So I went and read through the machine and read through all of the manuals. And the machine's not doing anything different than anybody else's machine. It's just really pretty. Uh, oh, well, well, thank it's you. It's just a R. All it is is a three head cavitation machine and a bunch of RF handles for the face. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really all it is. It doesn't even do like I was. I, I was. It doesn't even have a vacuum. Not a thirty k, huh? It's not a thirty k. Don't get me wrong. It, it could be thirty two k or something, but I don't remember it saying that. I, I had to go back and look at it. Okay. But I, re, I because I had to train the person on the machine. I went and re. I I researched everything about it, and I didn't see anything about it that stood out to me. Okay. Right. Now, the only thing I can say about the company that I did look, because I, I, I know the manufacturer where she's getting it from, and what they did have that I liked was um, they have the cool sculpting, the Cairo, you know, like you can do for people that have pain, you know, like the movable cold, cold hand that you can do for people that have pain. Oh. So that was a nice machine. I hadn't really... Cause I've been asked about that and I hadn't found anybody that really had a good one. So they did have that, that which if I bought a $12,000 machine, I'd want that out of it. But hmm. um, yeah, I mean, she, she's a great businesswoman, So she's doing her thing and I commend her for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know she trains um, people for five days on a machine. Yeah. And I did talk to her. I was, I ain't gonna lie. I was so trying to get that machine before that price went up. Uh-huh. And then finally I was just like, it's just not gonna happen. So yeah. I was like, "Well, what's the next best machine?" And I saw you and Bobby Sue York. You know, and they. I could just keep hearing so much about this S S shape machine. I was like, "Well, maybe that's what what I better just go on and settle on." Yeah, because yeah, I know I, I didn't want the cheaper machine, like yeah. the you know the five and one. I knew I didn't want that one. 
So I like the S-shaped machine because it does everything that you, you need. So, it, you know, mm -hmm. everybody don't got 6,000, 5,000, 12,000 to start, you know. Before you, you know, you want to get into the business, start making some money. And then if you want to do something different, add on to it. But yeah. I would buy the S shape. With I bought the five in one, and within three weeks, I bought the S shape after starting the business. <laughs> so yeah. buy the S shape. Yeah. So yeah. I that, I did the I had the five in one, and then I think within two months, that's when I sw I switched to the cool sculpting machine. Yeah. So the S shape I just, also, also go ahead for the cavitation. It's not as noisy. Right. Mm -hmm. I just bought whatever she told me to buy. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, me now did you but, that miss sandra huh? <laughs> then now did you i yeah. just asked her naisha did i not yeah I bought, she has I mean, a traditional my, five in one but we have she has an upgraded five in one with the 160 mw laser yes and, yeah so there's but, been I mean, with me since i started so she's seen everything and I guess she liked it because she joined the team. So I know I did, but my thing was, I mean, I like it because I didn't. When she said you don't have to do all the extra work, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's had the RF and it has everything I needed. So that was my thing. I didn't want to have to do the extra work because time so. is money. So why why mm -hmm. spend another 15, 20 minutes doing RF when you can do it all at the same time? You know, right? Because I only had one room, so you know, mm -hmm. hey, it worked. But don't, but the traditional laser pads are still good. If you take the, whenever you take the advanced butt sculpture class, there, that's what I, I will talk, I talk about how, um, Shonda, because you had, had you already had a butt sculpting class before you took my class? Yeah, no, I, I just did the basic everything with Tiffany, which was wonderful. I had went down to Houston uh -huh. and, and did everything. And then Cause I actually, I've been in these contouring groups since September after I, um, it was a lady from esthetician school. Cause I had to go back and do a state board prep cause I let my license lapse like back way back in the day. And so, um, so I just started watching people and I was just like, I am going to train with this. So it was like five of y'all I had pegged. <laughs> I ain't gonna front that. I just thought was just doing really tremendous stuff. And like Tiffany, let me tell you, Tiffany ended up, I caught her on a Instagram, a Facebook live one day and she, um, she ran a customer service special, no, a customer appreciation special back in, it was in October. And this is what she said. She said, if you put $200 down today, she said, you can pick six of my eight trainings for $1,500. Oh, wow. And so I called my daughter and I was like, girl, what you, cause my birthday was coming up November 13th. I was like, girl, what you give me for my birthday? <laughs> she was like, what? She was like, mom, I ain't getting you nothing. I was like, girl, come on. I said, I need that $200 deposit to go down. I said, I got to cash after sister. And so my daughter sent me the money and I cashed after. And, um, and so she told me that my class dates was uh, December 3rd, 4th and 5th. It was like five of us, but I was the only person that came in from out of state. And it was, it was a phenomenal foundation. I can say that. And she was yeah. sick and she still gave a really good foundation. And um, yeah. she had a, one of her best friends, she's training now. So when I say sweet as pie, she took me out to dinner. Her best friend was so loving and really was helping Tiffany because she was really, really ill, not with COVID or anything, something else was going on with her. And, um, but it was phenomenal. I had a phenomenal experience in Houston. They oh, were, well, they were awesome. really sweet people. I love Houston people. They're always so nice. Yep. Sophia, had you taken any type of a butt lift class before you took my class? None. No. The course that I got was everything together, like the whole body sculpting and the butt sculpt. And it was really quick. There wasn't too much information given on it. That's why I had got your 5D. Yeah. That's what, so that's my whole thing. I, I'm very, I, I go to and through, I think my process of butt lifting is much different than everybody else's with the 5D. So I really talk about the importance of tightening the skin before your butt lift, the importance of your lymphatic drainage. You get a um, you get an intro into mesotherapy and electrochoration. Um, you get an intro into EMS therapy. So all of the things that we can do to build, build the per person's butt. And you never talk about the anatomy because sometimes we're throwing these machines on people and not even knowing why we're doing it or 
you know, what's the concept of it behind it is. So in that, I really talk about building that muscle and all of that. So that's the 5D blood culture. So um, next Sunday, um, Sunday at 12 o'clock Pacific time, which is what? So oh, three hours days. later, your guys' time. It was I've been o'clock at 12 o'clock my Eastern. time. So no, no. No, your class is in the morning, nine o'clock. Yes, yeah, 12 o'clock your time. It's nine o'clock my time. So, so 12 o'clock Eastern time? Yes, you're, okay. you're right. Yes. Okay. So, um, because we're three hours different. And then yeah. the cla the um, other class will be, our class will be about two and a half hours. And so then our the next class is after that. Are you talking about the 27th? 20? Yeah. <coughs> I teach pretty much every Sunday. I have a class. Uh, my classes are every Sunday. Oh, you can always. Sleep. I don't that think you ever sleep. True. Huh? I said I don't think you ever sleep. I don't. <laughs> so so nice. She's on me. She's like, I'm booking you a massage. You need to sit your butt down somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So with that class, do you use the um? I think it's the glutes. Yes, we talk about the gluteo and the meso muscle in the five D butt. It's an awesome class. Tara, was that you in there with me this past Sunday? Oh, the consultation class? She was in consultation. Oh, we did consultation. Or was that Sophia? Sophia, we did the class this past Sunday? Mm -hmm. The classes? No. no, Sophia took a class a while ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was phenomenal. That's all no, I can say. The whole day was phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, wait to, for good. this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I try to, I, I have a a different approach. I, 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 I think I'm pretty detail oriented, you know, so I always have zoom issues, but <laughs> I'm a pro. You got me talking like a pro with this fat. I was on the phone with a sister last night and she's in California and she's like, well, what kind of business are you up? And I was like, oh, it's a non-invasive body contouring business. So she just started asking me questions. I started breaking down that yellow, that brown, and that white oh, fat yeah. door. She went online, looked it up. She was texting me back. I was like, look, I said, I do advanced training with this sister from out of the Seattle area. I said, is she the truth? She know what she's talking about. I said, she done taught us how to look at the body, the ectomorph, the mesomorph, and the endomorph. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in learning phase. So, you know, because when I opened my spa, I don't, my goal was when we had to put it in the group, I want an award worthy slash award winning spa within okay. the first 12 months of me opening. So, yeah. you know, I'm going to get it together. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're definitely putting in the work. So, I'll, I'll commend you on that. So, I'm really yeah. proud of you, ladies. I mean, your commitment to the process. I think you guys are doing amazing. This is this uh, this is more than I could ask for, and I I will trade in my sleep to make sure you guys are as successful as I can help you guys be. So, <laughs> well, thank you. We thank appreciate you. you, and and Miss Zandra, we appreciate you too. Yes, yeah. Zandra is amazing. I can't wait for her to uh, get off back. Of surgery. <laughs> I'm like, I can't I, wait either. I am going nuts over here. So, <laughs> so Naisha, we can um, just. Um, send you a message on any products that we want. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you still have Fet Dissolver? You still have some of that in stock? Or yeah, I do. People yeah. wanted, people ask me to hold it, but I don't hold nothing. It's still available until somebody pay for it. <laughs> but I can always get more. And that's the one that you shape and put, and then you use the um, M scope. The electroporation. Electroporation. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a laser belt? Yes. Yeah. It is to me if you do your electroporation belt and then um, your electroporation and then put them in the belt. I think it's very nice. It, it, that, that the the belt, the LED lights help push it down even further. That's what you need for your lady. You want to upgrade her to your um, services. You upgrade her to your mesolipo or your fat dissolver. So I've got the fat dissolver that I got from you. So you think I should, okay. But is it going to take me like three vials to use on her belly? Yeah, yeah charge her for it. Yeah. Like, yeah, charge her. But how much, okay. But seriously, I have got to be cheap, Tyra. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I lost your volume, Tyra, for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Okay. So how do you charge for that? Because I have not charged anybody for any, I've just been using it like on myself. Well, Cause you're using experimenting with it, but I mean, it's a bottle. It's $80, right? So there's for five vials, five vials, yeah. right? So I would say you want to, I mean, really, a measles treatment should be about 100. But if you want to be, you know, nice, maybe you just charge 50. You know, you got to pay for your product. I mean, the so treatment. what you would do oh, is do... charge for that treatment. I'm sorry. I had to. These chicks out here getting 250 and 325 for um for measles therapy. Just yeah, for that but they might be doing injections, though. Yeah. No, they, they're doing it with the Hyaluron pen. Yeah. And that's another well, thing you can do the house. Other- yeah. Can you How, use that serum with the hyaluronic pen? Yes, yes. Use it with the hyaluron pen. That's what I would do. Yeah, do you know she would have to have three hundred and three to four hundred injections. She, Seriously. Yeah, she needs it. If she's got the money, I mean you could work out a budget with her, but yeah. she needs it. That's gonna be the best. And you ordered to me the lipo too, didn't you? I did, but I uh-huh. I have that fat dissolving, but I don't know if I'll get that before she comes in because I think she's coming. I don't know. Maybe I'll get that before. But have you ever injected with a hyaluronic pen? I don't do that yet. But I, okay. I, yeah, I actually know how to, I mean, I took real injections. So I know how to do real injections. So I don't really do the hyaluronic pen, but I'm going to introduce it because so many people keep asking me for it. So. Well, it's pretty <laughs> neat. I mean, I bought, I've bought two pens and I've bought several fillers and stuff. So it's pretty neat. So, you know, you could do the, you can mix the two because you still kind of like, has to even when you inject you still need to make sure it's covered over the whole surface so I probably would still mix it with my electroporation okay mm-hmm. but okay so the only thing is when you inject the uh fat dissolving so I was told by one person that I buy fat I buy the lab lipo I don't know if you've ever heard of that but it's mm-hmm. another fat dissolving um that you could not do cavitation or anything like that for two weeks after injecting um I don't, I don't know. No, that's not true. That's not true. I know the fair fact that's not true because when my, in my injection course, we do three days, we can do it three days out. Okay. Cause my lab lipo, because I injected my whole belly. Um, and, um, so I was like, how long do I have to wait? She said two weeks. Um, well, I don't know. I trained with the Colombian doctor, but we trained with our miso products. I don't know what's in lab lipo. You can send me out and see if the ingredients okay. are comparable. And then there's but, one called red too. I don't know if you're familiar yeah. with that. There's another one called red. That's a lipo. That's so a they're usually dissolve. like phosphate, l carnitine silica organica. That's usually the active ingredients. If they're active ingredients is something else, I can look at it and tell okay. you. But you can do, you're going to have your best results putting them on a twice a week. One day is going to be their injection. Three days later, they're going to get their electronic service. So that's going to get, and they need to commit to that treatment for six weeks and then um, a once a month maintenance. Sophia, I know she, she knows a lot about Mia. What Mizo, what is your thought process on that? You're on mute. It was the same thing. It was twice a week. And we, if we did use cavitation, the cavitation is done before the mesolipo. So it doesn't go in and dissolve the solution that's in there. So okay. you're not draining it out. So uh-huh. it would be the cavitation or radio frequency. And then you want to wait 15 minutes and then do the, the muscle right after. Mm-hmm. Or I would break it up into two sessions. So there's, a, there's ways to do it. But I really like it with the, if you're, because if you're going to do a non-invasive treatment, a non-invasive je- injection, I think that, that laser is great because it's going to push it just right in deeper in there. Okay. But we don't so want to do, do a sauna blanket. You don't want to sweat it out. You want to push it in. So you want to do just like EMS, the electroporation, and uh-huh. then just put her own um, laser lipo and let her lay there for like an hour? Uh-huh. That's okay. what I would do. Mm-hmm. Well, well, are we going to learn this in the MISO class? Because I better go on and get Yeah, have you taken that? Thing. Yes. No, I plan on doing that in cool scope. So I'm just okay. <laughs> you getting all my little coinage. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, I mean, the best people, the best results come from people that know how to do multiple things. Because you're going to do, you know, you'll learn, you know more about the body. So you're going to know more what's best for somebody's body. So adding those extra um, treatments are going to really help. So. Yes. Now, let me, uh, who was that talking about the, um, was we in a conversation one day and everybody was talking about the wood contouring? Was that the other day? Wood therapy? Like all the work okay. that it is. Okay, so now listen. So you know Miss Stephanie <laughs> Hollis, right? Uh-huh. Are you familiar with her? Uh-huh. Okay. Because when I say I had pinpointed five, about five or six of y'all, I'm not playing. So I talked to her probably a month ago. Because I remember I was in a, I'm in a, about probably six or seven groups and somebody said, well, who's the best at wood contour? And it was like Stephanie Hollis. So I decided to go find her on Instagram and I watched this lady work, right? Uh -uh. So I, and I was so impressed. I think I stayed up like eight hours that night watching her wow. videos. And so I ended up sending her a, um, a text message and she, she called me. And she was like, she was like, she really needs to hear it. Now her wood therapy, this is how she explained it to me. She said, we're in this uncertain times. So what if we don't have no electricity, but somebody still want to come and spend some money, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good point. Guess how much she gets for wood therapy. But she does, she told me that she does wood therapy for four hours on a person. She literally gets $2,000 a session. Well, I mean, that's her claim to fame. And so that's one thing when you're specializing, she's made that her specialty. Yes. So that's kind of like where, I mean, like me, I'm a butt and a meso theory. I mean, a specialty. So yes. it's, that's her specialty. So she's branded herself that way. So that yeah. wood therapy is a lot of work. Yeah, she yes, yeah, she said it is, but also if I you mean, train with her, you you don't none of her students who have trained with her, once they show the before and after pictures of what because she told me she was like, you need to come down here for like five days to stay. And she said, I'm gonna she said, if we gotta be at this 20 hours a day, I'm gonna, you know, show you. And I was like, wow. And no, so she, she was it. like, none of her students make less than five hundred dollars just for wood therapy. Oh wow. Well, I like vacuums and <laughs> I'm, the art. I'm not working the art at the end of the day we're just moving the, at the end of the day you're moving the lymphatic drainage however you go about it that's fine she's made it very famous and that's awesome for her and that's awesome for people who want to do that I'm more of a work, work smarter than harder approach in my stuff so I'm gonna we're gonna use mesotherapy we're gonna use lasers we're gonna use our machines to work for us that's my approach. And I think if somebody who combines every approach is going to be the best. So, Chandra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this you is said Chandra or Zandra? <laughs> Sandra, sorry. Okay. Um, this is my personal opinion. Um, I took the train, I paid $2,000. What was that? I'm sorry. This, my personal, this is my personal opinion. I took the training. I paid two thousand dollars. Would I do it again now? For who? For for the wood therapy? Oh, okay. Would I do it again? No. That's just my personal opinion. And the the reason why, well, the reason why I say that is because um, I'm not sure if anyone ever took. Um, Scope Ice training. She has a wood therapy training as well. Um, very detailed, very inexpensive for what you need to know. So, I mean, that that is the thing. Like when you first get into it, you're just so hungry for knowledge. It's more, it's not, it's more. So I looked at certain things and it was, it wasn't about the money. It was about the knowledge. But <clears throat> As I look back on it now, and if I had to redo it, um, pay that kind of money, I wouldn't do it. Well, there's also something that you're getting from somebody at her level. You're learning, she's showing you how to charge more. So, I mean, her branding, her videos, how she's a specialist. 
So there is that other approach that you can look for. I mean, yeah, everybody I, wants to be the best of the best in their their um their their field. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that it was bad or it was all bad, but do I feel that it was worth two thousand? I my my opinion, I would say no. I'm not saying it was it was bad. It wasn't yeah. bad. I just don't think it was worth the money. Yeah. So, and that's the thing about it. As you go into this industry, it's very good to, um, you know, you want to be a specialist. Like, you know, everybody has their their thing that's going to be, and you'll find yours as you stay mm -hmm. in the industry. You know, like she's a wood therapy, I'm um, mesotherapy. Um, you know, Bobby Sue is the belt, belt and butts. You know, you'll find what your niche is, what you enjoy. And that's gonna be, you know, what what makes you, you know. So and I will say the the best marketer wins. So that's why I'm encouraging you guys to really build up your your Instagrams, your Facebooks, your Google My Business. The mm -hmm. the best marketer wins. So Okie dokie. <laughs> we don't so you know like, the other company everybody think brother? if somebody said who is the best with therapist, um, you're gonna stay say Stephanie Hollis, you don't even know. I like I've never even seen her training. I just know her name because everybody says that and because she marketed herself herself like that. We believe mm -hmm. that, you know. Yeah, she she got the knee pads and everything. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh we. I mean, I had her body, seen her body is banging from doing all that hard work, I'm sure. She don't got to go to the gym. She do with therapy oh for four hours. I'm like, but them bodies, them before and afters, I've never seen before and after. But you said, Miss Brenda, who did you say um, was the other company to go maybe take a training with them? Um, it was Scope Ice. They do a wood therapy. She did a wood therapy training. And what I liked about her training was um, how she gave you, she gave you the information to watch for like seven days. She also shows you every part of the body to where you can do the lymphatic drainage. Um, it's like a document that you print out, um, maybe four or five pages, but very, very detailed. Um, and she's from Utah. I think her name is Anna mm -hmm. with Scope Ice. Um, I mean, she, and like I said, she'll give you the video to watch for like seven days. But it was a it was a very very good training. I mean, Stephanie's training was good too. I mean, I can't take nothing away from her work. She's good at what she does. Mm -hmm. But if I had to pay it all over again, I wouldn't do it. You're saying the value versus the knowledge. Yeah. Okay. What about Pure Sculpt? Because I know I had wanted to train with Pure Sculpt um, two years ago. And to take all and how Pure Scopes ha has it set up is where you have to, um, you got to do like the main body first, but to do all of their trainings, like for the face sculpt, they got breast sculpt, you know, and eye sculpt and all this, it was like still over $3,000. I never even heard of Pure Scope. Yeah, me. Oh, either. yeah, that's, I got turned on the Pure Scope first because I was like, I need to get into this industry. And I was gonna originally go train with somebody in Atlanta and their training was like, they was charging $3,000 for 1,500 for each training. And you got two, they had ran a special where you got two trainings. They had ran a 2020 special in 2019 where you got two trainings for $2,020. But, but so, so teeth whitening and something else would have been 20, 20, $2,020, oh. uh, cavitation and something else would have been, uh, say cavitation and using the, the, inf the detox bag, that would have been $2,020. Oh, no. So, oh, and people was paying it, but for some reason it just didn't work out that way for me. You just have to yeah. do your homework. I mean, really like, you know, like I said, when I first started, I was hungry for knowledge, so I didn't. I didn't look into the money, but now I'm more wiser and the decisions that I make and, you know, just want to network and align myself with the right people. So, yes, yeah, you have to do your homework because I mean, there is people that actually can get their certificate in capitation today and the next day they want to hold a training class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that too. Okay, yeah. So I didn't do that training, but um, so then that's how I found Pure Scope through 
who did I find? Oh, they came into my like Instagram feed, you know, or whatever. Oh, from you searching, they had a sponsor that. And I was like, who in the hell is Pure Scope? And they're in Utah as well. And, um, but they do breast scope, face scope, eye scope, um, Pure Scope, and it's another, wait, wood scope, it's all wood. But they, they show just you how to do the whole body. She just said they just scope. That's it for $22. Yeah. No, no, Pure Scope. It was like five different trainings with them. Okay. And the, who I was talking about at first was a sister that I wanted to train with that was in Atlanta. Okay. That was special. She ran for 2020. So like to, like all the stuff that I just honestly got for $1,500, it would have cost me about $8,000 to train with this sister in Atlanta. And I'm so glad that I just did not go for whatever reason. It just was not working out for me to go that route. Now I, I understand why, because I've gotten great. And I'm not saying her training was good or not. I honestly don't know, you know, but I know through being in these groups and just watching people, when people post their pictures, when I first saw um, Naisha, all I kept, I remember saying, that is going to be my person. Like Tiffany gave me the best foundation. I was like, Naisha is going to be my advanced trainer because everything I saw coming from Glam Slam I was like, that chick is truth over there on that side of the country. <laughs> wait, wait, what? We're on that side, not the U.S., but the country. Like, on that side, on the side of the country. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, but, um, so, yeah, but, but now Pure Scope and all of their trains was 3000 It was a little over $3,000 for everything. But now, and they, you used to go, could go to different places. And when I first found out about Pure Scope, they had just left Detroit. The week be- they was here the week. Oh before. wow! Oh, so they, they travel. Did. Yeah, I was yeah. Kidding. I want to travel, but I didn't wait for COVID to kind of get a little more. It's okay. You guys just wait because we got our ice scope and our wood scope coming right now. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, we have a, we're, when we do that, it's gonna be fire and ice. We're introducing fire and ice. ice. Ooh. Ooh. Look, she said, "Ooh." <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, Naisha, how do we go ahead and sign up for next month? Is there it a should way? be automatic. Oh, well, I don't know. I think I didn't yeah. get your money on Venmo. No, no, Venmo. you did the uh, membership. The membership the, for the, this group, it's the you had to sign up through PayPal. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so it, it'll be automatic. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you well, said I can cancel mine to just go in and cancel it and then redo it for my new card. Yeah, that's or probably just edit it. Yeah, go into yeah, okay. your PayPal. <laughs> Go into your PayPal settings and you should be able like your membership, you should be able to edit it. Oh, okay. I just want to say I am I'm I know I'm coming on, you guys. Excuse my face, but you look beautiful. You're fine. You look so pretty. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I just want to say I am just absolutely, you know, you guys are absolutely what what am I trying to say? I'm absolutely proud of each and every one of you for like really stepping your game up and pushing yourselves. Doing, doing the work. Right, because you know we get some people that just don't want to do the work, and it's like it's real, it's discouraging. But then you come here, and you got people that are like, "I'm ready," you know. So it, it I know for me, it uplifts me because it's like, okay, all right, they're they're understanding and they really want this. They're just not in it, just in it. You're invested in it. So thank you for being invested into your own selves. Yeah, and I love it when <laughs> I see you guys as Instagram. I'm like, okay, yeah. Um, you know, she's posting this and she's doing that. And I know that we inspired you to do that. That makes me feel really good. So. Mm-hmm. That's what I love about this business. This business period changed my life. I spent 20 years as a hairdresser. Not that I didn't love it, but it was fulfilling work as it was. But it's much more different when you go into this field and you really help somebody change their body. Like when you get with that 600 pound woman, I don't know if she's 600 pounds, but when you change her body, you change in her life, you know, she's going to be forever grateful for you to take in that time to help her and mm-hmm. research and come in with new techniques and knowledge that's going to help her change her body. And when you and do she's that, already she's grateful. I mean, she's her. only lost, I think, I think, well, I think, I think she's two and a half inches, but that's big. I mean, two and a half inches hey, that's is a lot huge. of inches. So I mean, you know, and she's already thankful. So she will be very grateful. She's just got to be committed. Yeah. And she will. Yeah. So you just got to inspire her. Like I said, get her on a membership, get her on HCG. Maybe it's work, um, you know, that fat dissolver, you know, do your hyaluron pen. Try a couple of things. Everything, something's going to work, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if she's invested and don't be afraid to charge her because the more money 
she tried you she spends she should be more um invested sure, yeah to make sure she don't waste it at home going to burger king or somewhere so. <laughs> right right and, and at least she's not trying to go under the knife because I'm telling you, if I see one more sister, like, please pray for me, y'all. I'm trying to, you know, or they be like, I made it out on the flat side and then they have complications like a month later and they pass up out of here. You yeah. know, that's heartbreaking to see. So at mm -hmm. least she is trying to do it, you know, the natural way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I right. just don't get the, I'm, I just don't get the, you know, and I'm not, and I used to be 300 pounds. Let me tell you, I went vegetarian and vegan. I lost 80 pounds in one month just by oh, stopping wow. drinking pop. And this was years ago. Now I'm back up to like 230, but just from <laughs> not drinking soda pop, um, uh, started eating, switched everything over from just regular stuff to organic, you know, and, um, I lost literally, and I was getting colonics and I was taking colon cleansing pills and I lost 80 pounds in one month. So, um, you know. See, so that's, but I, I think know. that's what, I don't know a lot about vegetarians, but I think that's her problem. I think it's the sodium. Do you yeah, get a lot of thinks, sodium yeah. intake? She's thinking that she's what she said, a starch and I, I guarantee. I see yeah. a lot of people who are vegetarians, but they, they think they're being healthier, but that doesn't mean she's not eating chips or something or a bunch of hummus and crackers or yeah. something. So she something. needs a more refined diet. Okay. So, so I did vegetarian. Yeah, I did vegetarian, but I did it keto. So if you guys know me, I'm all about keto. I'll do anything keto. Um, mm -hmm. But um, if she does it uh, vegetarian keto style, she'll lose it because I lost the first time when I did it with vegetarian keto, I lost 20 pounds. But then when I did the overall keto, um, I lost my, I thought, I don't think I lost another 25 pounds. So if she just okay. take, take out the carbs and the sugar, she can do it. Yeah. And that's right. the thing, carbs and sugar. Carbs so is she like 300 pounds, 400 pounds? Where's she at? I'll send y'all a picture. I got a picture. Well, y'all yeah. don't share this picture. No, we don't like, this is all confidential. Well, stays well, in we the share glam anything, we share in our, we'll share in our glam CO's group. That's our yeah. group. Because you know, I take pictures of everybody that comes in my shop. But um, so I've got pictures of her. Hold on a minute. I've got like, if anybody ever stole my phone, oh my lord! I was like, they probably think I was a pervert. All these. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many butts and so many bellies on my phone. I'm just like, oh my god. Do you know what kind of fats she eat? Does she eat like a lot of um, hydronated fats or is well, she Well, you like know, she told butter? me, I mean, she didn't say, she told me she ate a lot of fruits and I said, well, you have to be careful with those fruits because they're full of sugar. 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 Mm -hmm. And I said, so, I mean, eat stuff with berries because usually berries are better. But you can go over with berries too because you can yes. with hey, She needs to just do the HCG diet. I'm telling her, make put her on that six week program she's yeah. gonna lose probably 40 pounds in six weeks if she follows it and will and get her a vegetarian uh menu and then send me, also send me that protocol for okay. that diet because okay. i've got those you know i ordered those things from you mm -hmm. those samples for that but i haven't used that yeah so. if you have her you can make her your poster child like with the treatment chart her program progress make her your poster child for the business <clears throat> I, can yeah, can I, she do what you did too when you trained us in doing the um the first training that I took that you gave us for free um back in was it in December rap. yeah back last month the rap can she do just that part of it for her as well along with yeah, well that's what she's already doing so I we're so yeah so we she was talking about she doesn't trust kicking her up to cavitation as of yet but we're saying add that fat dissolver add that meso lipo something like that to her plan look so at her tara, picture and tell me tara when you do your when you do your wrap you said you have her wrap and ace okay so i sent her home i don't know if you're familiar okay so when she was in shop i did um one hour of laser light late la la laser, laser lipo, lipo. and i did the mat and i did two Ooh. belts on her belly okay so that way I could cover her whole belly. 
And then after she left, I mean, when she was leaving, I wrapped her. I, I sell liquid lipo too. And so I sprayed her down with lip, liquid lipo, wrapped her with osmotic wrap. And I told her when she got home, she, I, she had already ordered some ACE bandages because I told her to order those because I didn't have a um, waist trainer to kind of fit her. So she had already ordered those. And I said, when you go home, you get those ACE bandages and you wrap yourself really good. And I told her when she wrapped to kind of pull that stomach up and wrap because we want to, you know, pull it up. But then she went home with a four day treatment of liquid lipo. So she would do it every night um, for four days and wrap, you know. So what I was going to say for the wrap, I, this is one thing that we use for moms that have um, separated their, their abdomen That's muscles yeah. when they have a baby, they separate. So it's like, it hangs really, really low. So what we do is con- it's called a binder. And what you do, I'll send you a picture, but you, okay. you do like a mummy binder. Put that in the group. Okay, but have you guys seen like the braided binders that moms wear after they have give babies? And it's like a, it's a binder. Yeah, going. from okay. out, like from out of Africa. I took that training when I um got trained to be a doula. Yeah. So, oh, so, so you're, you're a doula. doula so, well, well, if you're well. a doula, you know. So yeah, yeah as I'm, doula, I'm postpartum though. Postpartum. I am too. I'm postpartum and birth. But anyway, do that because that lifts that stomach up as well. Okay. And I'll send you a picture. Okay. Yeah. I've never heard of those. Yeah. It's just that, I mean, cause you can't get into a, um, that's your alternative to a waist trainer. Oh, okay. I've the- got another girl that would, that, and I never knew that, but I've got another girl and she's actually really little girl, but she has muscle separations from having babies. And yep. I mean, she's probably a size five or six. I mean, she's little, but she just has that, that tummy yep. issue. So that would yep. be good for her too. Yep. yep. And you know what? I have some 4X size girdles that I was going to clearance out. I'll send you a couple of those next time you order something. Hey, I try. I have 4X. Oh, and it that, wouldn't fit? Uh, no. A waist trainer or girdle? It was a waist trainer. You got girdle? No, I have some girdles that are 4X. I think she'll be able to fit it. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And Miss Tara, that is not her tummy. That is actually, it looks like an impacted colon. That's her large intestines hanging all the way down there like that. Oh, wow. you think? Yeah. Oh, oh no, I know. <laughs> the stomach actually sits up close up under the, the breast, and usually yeah, the she got is no bigger. That, yeah, that's that's you know, the intestines between the small and large intestines, they extend over six feet together. So that is like the large intestines that has just basically, look, she may have been impacted. You may need to see how many bowel movements she, she honestly has. Oh, well, then she honestly, definitely need to be artichoked and occi buried then for sure. <laughs> I'm not laughing at it. I'm just laughing at what you just said. <laughs> but y'all, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but because I mean, I'm a hefty girl. I mean, you know, I, 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 I like thickness, you know, I don't want to be a size three or four. But I'm just like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Uh, and that was the first thing I said. Okay, you can't do cavitation. Well, I didn't say this to her. I'm thinking this in my mind. I was like, I can't put her on the cavitation machine. I was like, the only thing I can do for her right now is laser lipo. And because I was like, I didn't, I mean, I haven't had anyone come into me that that, w- that was, had that much of a saggy stomach. Let me tell you this, if you use the artichoke and the fat, if you start using the artichoke, use the artichoke and the fat dissolver with your hyaluronic (laughs) pen, and she's going to start moving and put her on that Aki cleanse, she will start moving again. I don't think I have the artichoke. I didn't even know what No, you don't have the artichoke. But the artichoke alone, after the first 24 hours, after she drinks it, she's going to poop. She is. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just not, yeah, she just ain't had enough bowel movements. And then when I looked at the four pictures and I looked, did a close-up on her tummy, I, it looked like she had hardened pockets of fat Yeah, that was over, you know, the stomach. So what would that be? That's probably, um, Naisha, the, maybe the white fat, you think? Yeah. Well, if she has hardened pockets, um, first of all, treating her with that fat dissolver will start to 
soften those pockets. And then when you move it in her into cavitation, when she's ready, you come down some pounds, then that will start clearing that up. Have you looked into the, uh, the liquid lipo, the thermogenesis that she's got? Do you know what I'm talking about? I haven't looked. I just got with them yesterday, so I don't know anything about it. Okay, because I've got some of that thermogenesis, and it's really good to kind of break through that fat. So oh, it's really okay. hot. You can you can only leave it on somebody like 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. But Sean, Naisha, we're going to have to have Shonda teach a fat, fat class because she's talking about the brown fats, the grape. <laughs> she's doing good. Yeah, she's got it. Ooh, I'm That's telling you, this is, y'all the truth up around in these parts, y'all the truth. <laughs> because you never, you don't hear anybody break down the fats, to be honest. So I know I'm gonna send her a picture of all my clients and say, "Hey, break down this fat for me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I, I'm telling you, that fat. I didn't, I didn't know it was so many different types of fat. But when I went to massage school, and then it could also be like the fascia is tight, you know, and stuff. But that is her. That's literally her colon hanging down she could have pockets of um so like just hardened pockets of of waste and so now let she me... just need to crap a lot huh she just needs to it? crap a lot i mean go to the back yeah, sometimes it, you it have like it... she needs a lot of things that she yeah, needs like she some needs drainage like she needs you she needs she needs some tender love and taro that's exactly what she needs she, you know what uh also instead of doing the um the uh cavitation why don't you do a little vacuum therapy on her because it sounds if she needs to crap then she needs that that lymphatic to move okay well i'll i'll talk to her more i mean she's coming this week so she'll be so you can you can do 15 minutes of um use your green coffee oil and do about 15 minutes of lymphatic drainage on her stomach with the vacuum uh huh. So she could yeah. do fat foods, yeah, before you cav- cavitation, because that'll give her some RF to kind of help tighten that skin, that lymphatic drainage. Um, then you can still use the fat dissolver, your laser sauna. Those are, she should be rotating between those four treatments. Well, I told her this time when she came, I may put her in the sauna blanket and then do the um, the laser lipo. So, so, do you think I should do that? Mm-hmm. I think that you should, if you're going to do electroporation, I think that you should do the fat dissolver. If you're going to do electroporation or hyaluron pin, whatever you should you do, don't do that. Don't do that if you're going to put her in sauna blanket. Do um, can I do that after the sauna blanket? Um, I would do them on separate days. Okay. Yeah. If you don't do so, we want to get her electroporation vacuum get all that fat and stuff to the surface then laser light for her with the wrap so but do you do electroporation blanket. before you do vacuum yeah okay yeah because that's still going to pull that fat to the surface you can do you can still use your meso with vacuum okay and help pull it all to the surface yeah and then laser when you so when you put you do all of that it's in the skin. you vacuumed it all to the surface laser wrap it and it's gonna push it all into the body deeper okay i, I got a quick question to that um Na- naisha do you, what about that slim p- plaster where they that, like no that ain't gonna do nothing no slim i was plaster, just asking like what is no, that slim plaster would be like you know what it's a bride it's the wedding day of the bride like that morning you're plastering her so she'll be nice and snatched but it's not gonna do nothing long term okay mm-hmm Sophia, do you know much? Do you use the plaster at all? She's gone. Um, you're on mute. Sorry, let me turn it do up. You use I, the Yeso? Oh, sorry. Yeah, What's yeah. I do the. With- I do it uh, twice a week. It's more for sculpting the waist to mark the abdomen area right where we have our waistline. Mm-hmm. So it's more for that area. Um, if they have a big event coming up and they want to drink a lot of water. So everybody does theirs a little bit different, but I have a cold wrap that I put underneath. So it kind of helps tighten up the skin and then sculpt the waist area, but it does work really good. Yeah. That's why I said I would do that. Like she said, a big event for a bride or something like that. I wouldn't do it like as just. It's a quick service. Like you can do the yeso and they just basically come in and you yeso them and they go home. They need to leave it on for like eight hours. 
Yeah. Okay, so now the question is, do you think it will help the lady that um, Tara... Um... No, she would have to use her whole bottle of Yifo. It wouldn't <laughs> My bad, asking y'all to say. But it's a bandage. It is, but I mean, because a, a, a pack of yeast cells is like eighty dollars, and to do that, she'd have to use basically the whole thing on her. Hmm. I just want to get that stomach kind of up. <laughs> I think do the do your vacuum and your radio frequency. Now, if we if we go on with um Shonda's diagnosis, that is the colon. So if she needs to poop. We need to get her lymph. Well, first of all, you're going to move her with the vacuum. You're going to you're going to stimulate her metabolism with the fat dissolver. With the vacuum, you're going to move her lymphatic drainage, and with using the S shape, you're going to tighten her skin all at the same time. So she's okay. going to get so that if if we're going with Shonda's diagnosis, that's going to be the best treatment. We're going to call her MD <laughs> uh, Scope MD. <laughs> You're gonna be the colon queen. You're gonna say, say. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, and I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a, a book in the group for you, Tara, that um it's it's a really good book. Now it's a sister on the cover of the book. Long as she don't mind, it's a sister, it's a book that will really help to get her, you know, it'll be a like a support tool. Cause sometimes yeah, we may have fun. to get some of our clients books and stuff, and they they'll be like, oh. Like you have, like she invested into me getting this book to read and it's got recipes and, you know, just different you know, things. No, that, better yet is you don't give them the book. You read the book and you take excerpts of the book and you give it to them so they see you as the professional. Yeah. That yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the main things that you get from that book and put it into a little pamphlet that you give them. Yeah. Well, I tried to help her as much as I could when she came in there. I mean, as much as I could help her with her being a vegetarian, because I'm not, I don't know that lifestyle. I would so. almost ask her if she's willing to do it to, if she's not willing to change the diet that she's on, which I really think you need to do, um, ask her to log what she's eating so you can see what yeah. she's doing. Because I told her, I said, you need to quit eating all those beans, first of all, um, and you need to quit eating all that fruit because that's just total, I mean, sugar. And I said, you need to start eating some, so I told her to buy some protein drinks. I mean, drink some protein drinks or something. I mean, quit eating. She Sometimes eats those. people like that, they need a structure. You need to be like, you know, like you need to eat this at 10 o'clock. You need this at 12 o'clock. You need to do this. Like she might just need structure. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. didn't get this big. I mean, you know, she can be in the unblessed metabolism era of things, True. but she, she don't know what she's doing. She wouldn't be that big if she didn't. So she needs right. structure. She's clearly but trying. But I think she wants help or she would have never come She wouldn't be. Season. She's trying. So you're the yeah. professional. You are going yeah. to show her. I think what you got right now is a great diagnosis. I think that, I think the, the, that, the, I think adding the fat dissolver in a vacuum will be awesome. Giving her a diet plan. Tell her to commit to that for six weeks. If that doesn't work in six weeks, you will revisit the plan, but I almost guarantee that it will work. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, ladies, and, this is awesome. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that HCG, we have to keep in the refrigerator, right? Once you open it, yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. But I mean, sometimes you can't, like, you can get, like, a little lunch pouch or something because you obviously you need to carry your, your um, food around you um, mm -hmm. at the day because you need to be able to take it in the middle of the day. So for me, I, I don't, I never, I don't keep mine in the refrigerator, but because you'll forget about it. Um, yeah, but she could get a little lunch pal with a little ice pack in there and just keep it in there. It'll still be fun. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Tonight was great. Yeah. So we're going to get her on a plan. So if you need to, you know, text me after if you need any questions. I don't do the vegetarian protocol, my protocol, but I can, I can find one for you. I know they're, they're all over on the internet. Yeah. But is she a vegetarian because she wants to be a vegetarian or is she a vegetarian because she's just dieting? She's always been a vegetarian for okay. my so knowledge. So she needs a vegetarian protocol. So yeah. wait, say that. Can you can you repeat that comment? Huh? What you say, Tratar? She's always been a vegetarian, to my knowledge. Oh wow. Well, she could eat like you know a lot of vegetarians. Again, that starch they eat a lot of potatoes and all of that. Okay, wow. She can be a vegetarian and still lose weight. She's gonna have to make. She's gonna have to like eat eggs and maybe some cottage cheese and. Some protein right. sources, but she can still be a vegetarian and do the diet. 
But you can be a vegetarian be and be extremely unhealthy. Right. Have her eat pastured eggs versus just regular eggs because pastured eggs are more nutritious and omega threes and stuff like that for just the body. Just write a book, Chandra. Just write a book. And don't. And another thing, don't. Yes, we don't care what egg, kind of egg she wants for right now. This woman. No, is, no. I'm saying, saying you know, I want her to get structured. Not, the yeah, honest, but I've never seen a vegetarian that that was that big. I've never seen that in my life neither. That's why I say repeat that statement. Vegetarians like, wow. can eat Twinkies and still think they're being a vegetarian. True. That, True. That, True. Those are vegetarian. Well, no, they got True. sugar. Well, they got gluten in them. But um, yeah, yeah you can be a vegetarian and overeat on, you know, grain chips. You oh, overeat Cheetos. on a, yeah, like you said, though you you said it at the top of this, a starchitarian. Or she's eating uh-huh. tons and tons of beans. And then also, is she eating at night? You can still be eating after eight o'clock and sitting on a bunch of fruits and sugary fruits and beans and stuff like that. And also with your diagnosis, you keep saying that she eating all these beans and then Shonda already said her colon is backed up. So that those two and two are going hand in mm-hmm. hand. She, mm-hmm. she needs, yeah. So you need detox her. Fat okay. dissolver, artichoke, vacuum therapy, laser lipo. Okay. What a song I would put her on a two or twice a week. She's going to algae cafe and sauna blanket one day, and you're going to do that treatment on her the second day, three okay. days later. Okay. Yeah. So get her on a membership. She needs to commit to your program for, um, you know, I will say minimum six weeks, but she needs to commit six months to a year. Right. Right. So if you make up a nice little plan, something affordable for her to come. You know, because the treatments you're going to do are not really going to be labor in- expensive. Then right. she does need to pay for the product. So if you do the math and figure out a wage that you're willing to accept for your work and make sure you're covering your uh, um, product in that cost. Right. But I think you will, I think you'll change her life if she commits to, the, to it. Right. Hey ladies, so we are going to close out. This was awesome. We are learning a lot. I love this. Like we're learning yeah. from each other. Everybody has knowledge, you know. Yeah, does we had our first case study. The glam fund doesn't mean I have it all. So I love everybody's input. Input, And this is awesome. So. All right. So I will try to, I, I still got to download the 17th and probably some other classes before that. But <laughs> we'll get this and send it in the group with the manual and everything. And I'll also include the PowerPoint. Thank you. All right. Thank you, ladies. All right. Good night. All right. Bye-bye. Be safe, everybody. Bye-bye.